What's up, guys? Welcome to Kind of Funny's XCU in review. That's right. We're reviewing every single X Men movie every week, each week after week, leading it's, up to it's nothing. A good time, I guess. Getting closer to the Dark Phoenix. I, You're closer yeah, to yeah, it. Eventually, new new this wasn't time. Well, every every well, shot, I, everybody, Nick has a joke. It's exciting. I'm excited. That's true. Exhilarating. It's pretty good. Yeah. Right. As well. Yeah. As well. When you a end the thing and say, uh, hey, everyone, stay he's excited. Got he's got it. He's everybody, got it. hey, everyone, he knows what he's have an say exciting day. I know exactly what I'm going to say. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have been asking what movies uh, are going to be in this this review series. Because what is this? Uh, X-Men interview. Right. Yeah. Every every Thursday at 9 a.m. Every a. Thursday, 9 a.m., right here on YouTube.com slash kind of funny or podcast services around the globe it's still the same podcast stream if you if you aren't already subscribed go to your podcast service and look up kind of funny reviews that's where you'll find it it's going to be a good time for everybody uh this series will include the original x-men trilogy mm -hmm. it will include uh all three of the wolverine spin-off movies Fuck origins yeah. the wolverine and logan thank god it will include the modern trilogy quadrilogy days of future past or first Wait, class days of future past I guess trilogy. Just, three, just, trilogy. Just, trilogy. Yeah. just trilogy. And it will include the two Deadpool movies. When oh, does Dark Phoenix yeah. come out? Fuck yeah. Uh, February. Two? I assume we'll do one for I that as well. We will. We will Great. then add that to Fantastic. the list. Yes, yes, yes. We will take a break uh, next month to do Ant-Man and the Wasp. That mm -hmm. will be the MCU interview. And then we'll be right back here. There it is. Thanks for coming along with us. Yeah, man, it's been a fun. Especially oh, the Engadget really reporter who wrote about MCU in review, and mm -hmm. then is excited for this excited show. Excited for this. Also, so shout, shout out. out I'm sorry, I don't remember his name. Shout out to the dad who wanted to embarrass his daughter and made that video of him being so excited about X Men, and then turned the camera on his daughter, who was incredibly embarrassed of her father. It That's going to be all of you guys. Someday. What are you talking about? You didn't see that? It oh, it's funny. a great video. I mean, for I literally just described what the fucking video was, Andy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to get on? Is it kind of funny related? The movie are we're reviewing kidding? today. No. Is X Men? He just described it. Released on July fourteenth, two thousand. Dude, a whole I, eight years before the MCU. And existed. boy, you can't even tell. <laughs> 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 this is gonna be a fucking it's funny a fucking one. Fine uh, one. <laughs> the fucking fight scenes in this. Oh the beginning God. where it's like running through the matrix of yeah, electricity. Yeah, yeah. Same, is same, so same. bad. Don't take uh, my bit directed by Brian Singer, yeah. who also directed the Usual Suspects, X Men, X Two, Superman Returns, <laughs> and Days of Future Past, and X Men Apocalypse, as well as making a lot of really bad decisions. Uh, Valkyrie like, too. Don't forget Valkyrie. Wait, do you not like Superman Returns? I don't like Superman Returns. Do you? I, I mean, parts it's like it, two it, and a half hours and nothing. <laughs> Just nothing. I like the part where hey, you remember, uh, flew through fire. Let's do the exact fucking same movie as Superman the movie. It's bad time, bad time. And written by David Hayter, voice of Solid Snake. Fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. David Hayter. Friend huh? of the show. Mm. It's a weird he thing. He writes? Man. Yeah. He wrote. You know that story? He's holding on up at noon. Yeah, thanks for watching. It's great. I know, I'm, just so you up know, I'm now. certain I watched it. Because that's when me and Tim would meet up every Monday. Every Monday. And watch up at noon together. It's true. Up at noon and blow, he's used to call it, right? <laughs> <laughs> you blow budget, me, I blow you. <laughs> a budget of, and this this surprised me. Only seventy five million dollars. Really? But yeah, no, that's been that twenty years ago. Money, that was yeah. actually a lot of money. Yeah. Avengers it was two twenty, and I understand Avengers versus X Men very. Well, also like that's situations. how many years apart are we talking there? A lot, a lot. Yeah. But still, yeah. uh, I was trying to find out um, what the l cheapest MCU movie was, mm -hmm. and. From the, the glance that I did, it looks like it was the Incredible Hulk. Uh, <laughs> that was 150, so double. 80% yeah. of the budget was uh, to Anna Paquin because of that fucking duck movie she was in. Remember that duck movie? Yeah, the Remember Canadian geese one. Yeah. She flew ahead of Oh my of him, god. Man. Right? That was her? That what, was was that? That? what was that called? Going home? Duck in the way. Duck, duck, goose. <laughs> <laughs> duck, duck, <laughs> blow. <The road laughs> cut. Um, but yeah, so it, the box office was 296.3 million. And with the Incredible Hulk, the worldwide box office was two hundred sixty-three point four million. So this was a very good profit yeah. for Fox at the yeah. time. So they did it, and that's why they kept doing it. That's uh, it was unfortunate. Yeah, it's a great but fortunate in the long run. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They hung in there, and they, they uh, did. They, they, they turned. They kind of, you know, they did something. No, they they, they, they steered it back seconds. and they crashed again. They, they just around. keep going like this, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Greg, yeah, hit us with that plot. It's time for the plot. Everybody, yeah, close man. your eyes. Imagine all the CG effects going through right now, right? Oh. <laughs> Evolution. 
Sometimes it happens very slowly. Other times very fast. Boom. Fucking digital lawnmower. Did you man practice effect. putting that on beforehand? You I guess it. Say, really, really quick. Ready. If you're an audio listener, <laughs> go ahead and look this up on YouTube. Yeah. I promise you. I promise you it's worth it. It's very much it's worth like, it. So like, all right. So it's all. It's like. <laughs> <laughs> they talk about, you know, it's all about like evolution. Sometimes it's slow, sometimes every few millennia, right? Boom. Mm -hmm. And by the way, this is Charles Xavier. Spoiler. Mm -hmm. Spoilers, everybody. I'm sorry. This oh, we're all aware of Professor Stewart. X. Exactly. Well, we don't know that Sir. part yet. We don't know that yet. We don't Wheels. Know. We Sir Pat. At the Sir time, Pat, I just knew him as Jean Luc Picard. Mm -hmm. And it. That was the only context. What's funny about this movie, before we go any further in the plot, we've made it so deep, is the, the way. It's just such a time capsule. Oh yeah. Of, I've all, like, I look at Patrick Stewart and Logan, right? And I'm just like, man, He's Patrick Stewart looks great. He just always looks like Patrick Stewart. And then you watch it's like, oh fuck, Patrick Stewart was a young once. Mm. And if I went back further, he'd keep getting younger. <laughs> but here, here he does. He looks great. Mm -hmm. And so does Sir Ian McKellen. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Before you keep going, I want to go around the table because we've already gone pretty deep into this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you, did this movie exceed your expectations of it, or did it? Was it worse than you remember? It was worse than I remember. It was Sorry. worse than I remember. Yeah, sadly worse than I remember. I me like I remember it was the exact same. Uh, it's just been so long since I've seen this. It was the exact same experience that I remember in the theaters where I was like, oh, this is starting off pretty okay. And then by about me, 20 minutes in, I'm like, this is a train wreck. Oh, this no. is just. No. No, it's not Pish working. Gosh. This, this I, I thought it was like, it's way better than I remembered it being. Yeah, you that's know, not. I'm not saying okay, it was yeah, good. Yeah. <laughs> I think that two thirds of this movie is good. The first third, I'd say, is pretty good. <laughs> For me, this is the exactly last what I expected. I remember seeing this in theaters with one John Campione. What up, camps? What up, camps? Uh, and I remember leaving the movie theater and be like, "Wow, that was a, like a that was a good that was a good comic book movie. Those don't happen. That's crazy." Mm -hmm. And then this is also the time, of, or you know, eventually it would become the time of uh, PlayStation Two. So I, I had a DVD player. Mm -hmm. I bought the I got the X Men DVD. I remember for Christmas and did all the Easter eggs and did all the things of oh, clicking yeah. around to see the Spider Man scene. You mm -hmm. Remember that? Did you ever so see that? funny, so funny. Yeah, and so I was super into it. But can you explain that? Yeah. Oh yeah. sure. There's a, a when they were filming X Men, the Tobey Maguire Spider Man movie got announced. Not even that Tobey was in it, but hey, we're, they're doing a Spider Man film. And so in one of the scenes at the Statue of Liberty where they run up to a doorway. They were like, all right, let's do another take of it. And they all ran up, and then another guy jumped out in the Spider -Man, in a cheap ass Spider Man suit and ran up behind him. And then just and goes, oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> and they all turn around, and all the actors bust up. And they're like, all right, ding, ding, lunch. And that was like their final thing. And they put it in there as a deleted scene. Oh, that's awesome. It was really cute, really funny. Yeah. Um, but I watched you it. kept that in the movie. <laughs> I watched it enough there to know it really well. And then years, years later into the MCU, I was on TV and I watched it. And I was like, wow. We did not know how to do fight scenes at all. The I mean, like, you know what work, I mean? man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The whole no. movie yeah, the people looked like bad perfectly. practical like effects in comedy movies. Yeah, right. Wolverine jumping. <laughs> it's it's like, just why does it look so shitty? It's weird because like I want to learn. I want to criticize this movie a lot, but obviously it's a it's an eighteen year old movie, and b it was before anyone really understood what a comic book movie could yeah. be. Mm -hmm. But I think that might be my biggest criticism with it was when they announced the team of people working behind it. I don't think they really knew. Like even, you know, according to David Hayter, he was like, they didn't really know what they were dealing with. Like nobody really knew how to tackle a comic book movie. Sure. So we got to give it a little bit of credit for yeah. kind of starting off the whole modern uh, comic book movie genre. And I mean, this is what lit the fuse. Yeah. Did make and Absolutely. pave the way for yeah. all of it. So I give it total leeway on the fact that, yeah. But did it though? Because of the Batman movies leading into it. Just the but was, Those were different. Yeah. Those were so different because those weren't. X Men, I I think you think about the time jump we're talking about too. We're talking about two thousand, right? Mm -hmm. Eighty nine Batman is like wow, what a uh, this is a dark take on Batman. It's this that and the other is cool. No, and correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, even there, the fight scenes aren't amazing. No. They're cool. Mm -hmm. They're cool fight scenes, but it's because you're dealing with a man dressed as a bat who's sitting there dodging yeah. things, not turning his head. That was more style. That's easier to fight, right? And the, But then it goes to returns. It's like, awesome. And then we get into the super campy shit. Mm -hmm. And that's, I feel like there's a whole time period there of... What year was Batman and Robin? Like, 98, 97? It would have been somewhere I think it was 96. I want to say. Yeah. I think it was 96. Yeah. Sounds right. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, I think that when they went to the super campy, they lost a bunch of people. And I feel or like it was this like is the one that for kids. This is the grabs the wheel yeah. and puts us back on track of like, mm -hmm. no, we can do a comic book movie yeah. that isn't That's serious. super dark, oh, but yeah. it isn't yeah. fucking and I, sort of rooted I, in some sort of reality. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And I think that's why like the outfits are so like, oh, it's just black leather. Black Cause leather, like, yeah. that's what's cool at the time. 
Like what the Matrix had just happened. Black leather is fucking That's dope. True, yeah. That was right. actually you know? I thought that was actually I thought a really interesting um, and I think a choice that worked for the movie is that you had their same costumes that did look like uniforms, but they had little flares of the original costumes like Wolverine still had his like stripes that mm-hmm. were on the arms and things like that. So I thought that was actually pretty cool at the time. And looking back on it, I think that's it's it's interesting. But I think that that, you know, they even have the joke in the movie where he's like, what did you want us to wear? Like spandex. Yo, spandex. And everyone was like, it, you know, at the time I was like, there's no way you can make the actual costumes work. And now Captain yes, America, you can. Man. You can easily yeah. make them work. It's yeah. not that hard. They could have easily made those, uh, you know, put those in. But I think that, again, that that's another choice where you're like, we don't know what audiences are ready for. And I can't I can't honestly go back and say that the costumes would have worked for that era. I think mm-hmm. we needed those subdued like costumes and those subdued choices to get us into and get us ready for an Iron Man. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Mm-hmm. Are we gonna do the plot? We're in it still. Because we're I, too, we're okay, because I we took a side. Because like so that intro matrix scene is obviously like very, very like Super late nineties, early two thousands. Yeah, really, it really looks like a fucking CG. Windows Ends XP with Cerebro. Yeah, it was so bad. Um, <laughs> like it looks like a Winamp Visual Player, like you know that sort it of does. thing. Um, and but then when the movie starts to get going, and up until Wolverine is at the mansion, I was like, Dude, "This is the best move superhero movie I've ever seen." Sure, like, yeah. and it's awesome. And like, and you see Charles <laughs> Xavier and and uh, Magneto talking to each other. It's like. This is like a this is like a fan here, film Charles. casting sort of thing. Like yeah. obviously we know who Ian McKellen is now. Mm-hmm. Back then we didn't, but watching them talk, it's like, dude, this is like perfect. This yeah. is so good they right really, now. They had great chemistry the whole series. And then yep. it wasn't until that they, they get to the day. it wasn't until they get to the uh, um, the train the, station. No, 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 the scene that the so scene that really bad. showed yeah. the cheesiness to me is me, the uh, is the Wolverine. This is the Academy of, uh, and it's like. And yeah, this yeah, really positive dude, music. The was music like, was so bad. In this, this is movie. where it all like, sounded like cheesy. uh like weird MIDI keyboard yeah. like demo shit. That they're just like, well, this is free, so we're gonna use it. Yeah. See, I'm, uh, it got me well before that though. It's right mm-hmm. around the time when Rogue, for whatever reason, is in Canada. Um, and just running around. Was was they they tried to do that. Yeah. Try, well, I mean, you, you, or you, want, you want to argue that now, or when we get he's there? gonna say story. Let's, let's just get go to the story. Yeah. Okay. So as I said. Humans only use twenty percent of their brain. You, Lucy uses a thousand. <laughs> They're doing that all over the thing, and then we go to just the happiest place on earth, Auschwitz, right? And like yes. this is what you're talking about, right? Yes. Of the mm-hmm. fact that in the theater, like, wow, we're going here, yeah. and wow, it's not ham fisted and shitty and weird. It's like mm-hmm. actually a wow. This is a powerful scene of, of course, Magneto. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, why Eric can't Lynch I remember? Thank you. Why can't I remember Eric? Eric getting pulled away from his parents, right? But his mutant abilities kick in as they do in times of crisis. He brings down the gate. The, all the soldiers are holding him. They can't pull him. And he fucking comes okay. over and hits him with the butt of the gun, takes him down, right? Fucking, and I remember even so the theater so being cool. like, so holy good. shit, to your point of like, yeah. this is the best superhero movie ever made. Yeah. Like, granted, there wasn't much that, but it was like, yeah. I didn't expect to go in there and yeah. do that. And again, Dark. at this point in my life, right, I'm a DC fanboy mm-hmm. through and through. Uh, I remember like X-Men Apocalypse and shit like that. I watched the cartoon, but I never knew this was the kind of shit they were wrestling with in terms of a backstory. And like, yeah. what, like, let's immediately make you understand wh- why Magneto would found the Brotherhood, why he'd be on such a different side than Charles. Mm-hmm. And a great call is getting rid of the evil in Brotherhood of Evil Mutants. Mm-hmm. Charles sure. is always a weird thing. Yeah. It's yeah, like yeah, a little yeah, yeah. on the nose. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Brotherhood of Mutants works a lot better. Just so you know what you're getting yourself into, we are the evil <laughs> uh, Brotherhood. Just so you guys know. So we have that setting already, which is fantastic, powerful, well done, not weird to have this, you know, horrible part of human history in there. Uh, jump from there, we go to the floor of the UN or whatever, the Senate. Uh, Jean Grey's there giving her speech. And, and from that moment, you're like, all right, you guys nailed the fucking casting. You gave us Professor X, you gave us Magneto, they're perfect. You gave us a Wolverine that was not perfect. You gave us a Wolverine that was not what we expected. But grew into but be perfect. But then turned to be a new iteration of Wolverine. Like, yeah. Hugh Jackman is Wolverine in the way that uh, Robert Downey Jr. is Iron Man. And it's Hold like, on, Andy said. Well, there it is. And so, like, shout out to them. They okay. they nailed it with Hugh Jackman eventually. See, uh, then? But then, yeah. I think. I see. The thing is, I don't know that they ever nailed it with Hugh Jackman. I think what? I just became. That's crazy. Let me, let me stop. I I just became a huge Hugh Jackman fan, mm. and like, I don't know. I I love him, and I I will support anything he does. And as Wolverine, I'm like, that's great. But I don't really ever like Logan was probably the first time I remember thinking, okay, he's Dude, actually nailing the role. No way. Because I just X two. <laughs> You picked the wrong house, bub. Yeah, but the, uh, to yes! me, it's his, his acting and attitude is he right. Made it his so. look isn't right. 
But yeah, like that, but that's that's well, some not, comic especially in this one. He's way matter. too pretty in this one, right? Very pretty and tiny. And he's yeah. supposed to be like um, five foot six or five. Yeah, foot I mean, it's just my my perception of Wolverine. Like they just picked a, very, a pretty boy for it, mm-hmm. and I was like, that's an interesting call. And I always I always just had this perception that Wolverine. Again, I'm basing this largely off of the '93 cartoon series, but I just always had the perception that he was More. old. He was supposed to be old, and, and 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 he was. It was weird that, and I think I know why they chose it, but you know, Famke Jensen. They 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 chose her as Jean Grey. They look like contemporaries, right? They look like two people that, if they were on screen as lovers, would make sense. But then you see James Marsden, who looks like a sixteen year old boy, and it's and another the guy weirdest of watching Westworld week after week. Where I'm like, how does James Marsden not Never age? age? And then you watch this, like you were a child. He was twelve. <laughs> and so I always, I just thought the casting, while they nailed uh, Patrick Stewart, Ian McKellen, and just to a large degree, eventually Hugh Jackman, the rest of it was just Dude, off. Man, Jean Grey was. Horrible. And then you and we get uh, the, who I think was probably the biggest star at the time was Halle Berry, who was in like ten scenes, maybe ten max. Scenes with the sometimes worst I do an accent, ever. sometimes well, I so don't do an accent. She only tried. in this movie, and then she gives up for yep. like the yeah. rest of it. I was reading trivia, oh, and like, she doesn't no, use it at all. Uh, no, but like that to, wig, to say Nick. that like it was only this movie, it was like. Thirty percent of this movie. Yeah. And they, I'm sorry. I was gonna wait. I was gonna wait. I was gonna wait <laughs> until we got later in it. But I need you to give it to me. Give it to me. Wait oh, a is there a new accents podcast? Or no, we do no, the wig one. one. Okay. Oh, oh my god! No, we can't. It's too many. <laughs> Give me a wig out. No, don't do that. Uh, there can be an accent podcast. Yeah, there can be an accent podcast. An accent Give it to me. Accent. Oh man. The accidental wasn't, accent. Wasn't prepared for this one. Go for it. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like accidental accent. Yeah, that's what yeah. it's gonna be called. It's pretty cute. Okay. okay. Um. Um. Let's do a wig and out, and I'll think about it. Okay, let's you think about out. it. Go go. Um. Is it a wig? I don't know. Wigging out with Scarpino. We know the current state of the wig spiracy. Okay, mm-hmm. we've seen the end of it, but we don't know how far back it goes. I thought it ended in 2005, right? That's how far back my knowledge goes. Yeah. No, 2000, an example of when the wig spiracy live and in effect. Everything is okay. I thought Hugh Jackman's was a wig. It's not a wig. It's actually yeah. his hair, and yeah. it was terrible. But Halle Berry's wig, I don't know what... Bargain bin party city they found that fucking thing in but it is terrible and you'll notice in later films They just did her hair, right? Oh, like, yeah, I, I think yeah, yeah. They were like let's go with call, it. By the but way. again another example of like there are choices made here that were just not in In parody with what we have today where people really understand that the mainstream audience is like acclimated to this You're just it's just everything was just like blown out of the fucking proportion and that wig is just atrocious atrocious And that's it I didn't think of anything. <laughs> <laughs> accidental <laughs> accent. Well, I was accidental thinking sexual, accent. I was thinking sexual seduction. Accidental accent. Sexual selection. You know the. the okay. Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah, little, yeah, can yeah. you yeah. integrate yeah. the bird mm-hmm. from? Uh, no, that's bird. you can't. You can't come around universe. I just did the yeah. XCOM theme. Sorry. It's the accidental accent. We'll think about. It. We'll talk about it later. Uh, I'll tell you that accent was terrible. No, I haven't seen an accent that bad since Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, yeah. where Kevin Costner, I think, halfway through, just literally decided to stop doing an English accent, just literally. Or it's it like he, it's not, it's like he forgot. Also, <laughs> like yeah, there's just like there's scenes where clearly for three days and like, yeah. oh fuck, wait, yeah, I totally forgot. I like, no one picked it up. I was listening to a podcast. Uh, I was listening to Nerdist actually, and it was uh, Tom Holland talking about Spider Man and how he had like filmed all these scenes back when they were doing Homecoming, and he was watching like an early cut and was like. Oh my god! Like there was three or four scenes where I was like, "Guys, we need to refilm that." I just didn't do my American yeah. accent whatsoever. Like I just <laughs> trash. I forgot, you know. So yeah. that's like maybe it's just a forgetful thing. It's crazy that he had to be the one to I, say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, who knows? I don't know. But you shoot things out of order, and then one of the harder things about doing an accent as an actor is like you don't. If you shoot it all at the same day, great. But then you got to go back and listen to that and pick it back like, up because oh, you're not yeah. gonna, you know. Halle Berry could have shot days apart from each other. Who knows? And Halle Berry, she's an amazing actor. But, but I just like, think that the direction of like, yeah. do sort of a Kenyan Kenyan accent. accent, maybe I don't know. And then Brian Singer goes off, and I don't know, I don't know who the hell knows. But it's what like happened. maybe she was, someone. maybe she wasn't comfortable with it, and then gave up and was hoping nobody noticed. I just well, don't. We I just, noticed. That I don't, was the I don't problem. think we noticed. I don't think that she but, had like confidence in it because even when she was trying, it was barely. But there. see, but you're assuming that they they filmed in order, which is not how films are, right? Oh, they sure, didn't. They yeah. didn't start with their first scene. So like her first scene and her last scene, there, and then in the middle, it's like it's different. It's just it was weird. It was really bad. It was so bad. Was Hugh Jackman always uh, slated to be Wolverine? No, they had some. Other I thought people. I had read that like that was a last minute thing. There was a guy no, that I was supposed to be Hugh Jackman that. for. And I forget, he's like a character <laughs> actor. 
Excuse me, not Hugh Jackman. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, the Wolverine. Okay. There was another guy they had that a lot of people were like, he's the front runner. Mm. Um, but I guess, yeah, because because the thing is, the other thing is, who the hell is Hugh Jackman? Was my first reaction to that. I yeah. didn't, he had not been in anything that I know of of note yeah. up until this point. It's not it's not about Wolverine, but a fun oh this almost happened thing is long before he would be tasked with bringing the Avengers together on screen, Joss Whedon rewrote the screen screenplay for Brian Singer's X Men. Unfortunately, Whedon's draft ended up being rejected by the studio because it was too quick witted. Oh, that would have been amazing. It would have been so good, man. So good. No, Back to the know, plot. plot. So about. we're here. Jean Grey is giving her speech in front of Congress, Senate, whoever the fuck it is. Senator Kelly's there, so it must be the Senate, I guess. But it looks like futuristic and weird. So maybe it's the UN. Maybe it's just futuristic. Who the fuck cares? Uh, she gives her whole speech of like, mutations are happening. Don't be afraid. No big deal. And then Senator Kelly himself stands up. Where do you know him from, ladies and gentlemen? The TV adaptation of Harry and the Hendersons. Yeah. That's right. It's oh, Mr. Shit. Henderson. Never did anything before. Never did anything <laughs> since. <laughs> Senator Kelly stands up, and he's just a big swinging dick. And he's mm-hmm. totally doing the Joseph McCarthy shit of like, I have a list of mutants here. They're more dangerous than any other weapon. And Gene Gray's bickering with him. And he's like, no. And he's talking about how there's people who can get in your minds and control you. And what do they do this? And she's like, getting, she's she's on the defensive. She wasn't expecting this full on Shadow assault. Cat gets a shout out. It's like the girls run through walls. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I have some, there's only so much these mutants can do. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's like, you know, a you know, one-time thing. I'm sure yeah. there's plenty of them. He gets her on the defense, though. Yeah, Senator Kelly's rallying up the troops here of like, yeah, you know what? Like, these guys, the mutants suck, blah, blah, blah. And guess what? Eric, he's heard enough. Magneto, he walks out. But Professor X, he sees it, and he rolls after him. And this is where we get a great conversation <laughs> of them up on the walkway, right? Where they, you know, uh, Eric doesn't even turn around for the longest <laughs> you time. Do, yeah, you want to do the conversation? Me sure, and you? sure. You're Xavier? Yeah. Okay. Where, where, okay. Ready? Yeah. Where are you going, Magneto? What do you hope to find up here, Charles? I'm trying to find my keys. I'm old as fuck. Hope you'll find none here, old friend. They're coming to kill us. Why don't we just (laughs) talk this out? I do it great. I do it great. If you're watching X Universe and you need a younger uh, Magneto, I'm there. You know what I mean? Like it's just one of those things they could do. Only we could figure out what you look like with the shaved head. I don't know, man. Uh, well, no, I was doing no. You what? That, and, anyways, <laughs> and there it's revealed that yes, this I'll is all. I'll start paying attention now. This is a, <laughs> this is all very in line with what Eric seen before with the Nazis. Because if you didn't know, everybody's Nazis fucking suck. Yeah. they're cowards. They're yeah. little shitheads. They're really bad people that don't have any reason to be on this earth. And he's like, I've seen this before. I've seen this fear. I've seen these laws. I've seen little shits like Senator Kelly. Not mm. not. Mr. Henderson. Mr. Right. Henderson and Harry and the Henderson's was dope. Yeah. Different, people, uh, yeah. different, different universes. When yeah, we get to yeah, the yeah. Harry Henderson's MCU, it'll uh-huh. be all fun. Separate the art from the artist. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And he stomps out of there, right? And Charles is like, woof, troubles are coming. Mm-hmm. And then we jump down to Mississippi. And here's where, you again, you want to talk about a time capsule. Because I remember Rogue being a contemporary at the time, oh, 2000. Yeah. And I was mm-hmm. like, hey, she's getting ready to graduate high school. I was about, I was about to, yeah, I was about to. Camps and I were watching. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, this Anna woman, very attractive, right? And then you jump ahead a short decade or two later, right? And she's just fucking banging people on True Blood, yeah. naked all the time. So Super naked. And, and, it, and it was uh, the exact same her thing. And Bill. Of, oh my god, they, they're married, right? No, I think so. Yeah, they were when the show was going. They had, they had such hot sex that the producers were like, you got to get, get married. This you guys got to get this married. This is a scene for us to film this. Yeah, yeah but the blonde guy was the hot guy. He's oh, hot Scar, too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. Nick is, Dude, he has the world's shittiest do rag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what it looks like. Uh, back to this though. Same thing, True Blood. I'm like, man, Anna Paquin doesn't age either. She's still as attractive as she was then. Then I go back and watch this now as the 35 year old man. And I'm like, she's a child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She is a baby mm-hmm. child. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like when I was a contemporary, it was okay to think that. Mm. Nah, I cannot think that. Mm. But she's there in big old Mississippi. Doesn't We're, have a rogue hair. Doesn't have a rogue hair. I wonder yet. how she's gonna get that. Fucking bullshit. This movie's not accurate to the comics. Everybody saw the images like garbage. Um, above her bed, she has. Her road Spider-Man. trip across the country. Oh. Where she wants to go from Mississippi up through the thing and into Alaska. Oh, I didn't suck notice it, that. Suck it, suck it, suck it. You weren't Fucking paying attention suck as it. usual. Sorry, man. Do it, dude. Fuck it, please. Everyone should go to Alberta, Canada at some point. She was trying to get to Alaska. <laughs> Why? Probably to get those fucking geese again. Who knows? Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> she was talking about it with her boyfriend when yeah. like it like cuts in. Yeah. She's like, and then we'll go here. Yeah. The punch- I thought this was a great scene. It was a great scene. And then this boyfriend's yeah. like, all right, cool. It's time to knock fucking boots. Let me, yeah, I was going to say, Greg, what do you think was on his mind the entire time she was talking? His throbbing erection. Yeah. Uh, she's, uh, we're thing, on, that thing was so hard. We are hurt. on her bed. Her fucking dumb as shit Mississippi parents are downstairs playing piano, <laughs> staring at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even care that we're up here about to fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you know I mean, what I mean? yeah. I, 
<laughs> and so he leans in for a big old smooch and she starts sucking his life force because yeah. of course she's rogue Fuck that this guy. is where we discover she's rogue she screams as he collapses she runs to the corner uh, parents they stop playing the piano and fucking dad stops jacking off staring at the wall whatever the fuck he's doing down there probably looking through he's got cameras up there ready to watch because he's fucking gross oh my god too Damn. far dude just too letting you know this, this thing happens yeah these I, mutants man if this you're, is why if I refuse you're to go to Mississippi <laughs> these mutants need to be stopped <laughs> these right, no, that's, uh, anyway Anyways, they run up there. Rogue screams, "Don't touch me!" And then we jump up to Alaska. She was great in that scene. I she thought like her reaction, no her mm -hmm. acting, line delivery was awesome. Did she? Was this the first time her powers had manifested themselves? I think so. That's so, the read I had. Was yeah. her? Was so her immediate reaction was, "I'm going to run away from home and, and go to Alaska." We don't know. Was I mean, she put a boy into a coma. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it was all the mutant it, stuff. Of they, I think it was the horniness. That she was it. just worried that she was a mutant and she didn't she, get away from it. Was, it. Yeah, it was p extreme stress, right? Yeah. That's what Jean Grey had said, or yeah, extreme yeah. emotion oh, or whatever. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, but I think it was yeah. the idea that. Yeah, okay. That, I mean, like, <laughs> mutants already known in the world. Mutants already looked down on. Mutants already got the outcast. So, you know, maybe her parents had a similar Bobby Drake reaction that we'll learn she, about. She also, she did know how long she had put him in the hospital. Like, she said that right. he was Later in for on, three weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, so, 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 so she could have stayed there, yeah. then, then gone okay. on and the trip by her herself. Parents hated her, or I'm sorry, the boys' parents hated her and all this shit. Yeah. Again, they're all just fucking down there in Mississippi on their fucking tugboats. <laughs> you think? You think Dad still back? <laughs> Dad still went back and watched the tape either way though. Yeah, he oh, just God. beat it. Stop. <laughs> what is going on? Shout out to all our Mississippi <laughs> <laughs> for being good sports. <laughs> We're just fucking around. We love you. Uh, it turns out that end gadget reporter from Mississippi. I take it all. <laughs> You're a horrible monster. Yeah. <laughs> she goes up to Canada, as you said, right? Uh, she gets, she's been getting, just going up there, uh, riding the tr with the truckers. You know what I mean? That sure. trucker, yeah. Well, a cameo appearance there from George Buza, who voiced Beast in the animated show. Oh, oh. Very well yes, done. that's a good one. Good mm -hmm. drop in. I always yeah. thought it was Kelsey Grammer. Just for all oh, the time. Maybe I hear the blues are calling. Wait, uh, the guy driving the truck or the voice of Kelsey Grammer or Kelsey Grammer when he plays him in X3? <laughs> hey, did you know Kelsey yes. Grammer was in Cheers? <laughs> what? Cool. <laughs> Which one, Andy? Okay. Do you think it was the voice? <laughs> okay. All right. He, so she gets out of the thing. I thought you were going to take me as far as whatever, Starburn City. And she's like, he's like, this is Starburn City. So he, she gets out and goes into this bar or whatever. And there's a whole bunch of cage fighting happening over there, guys. Mm -hmm. And in the middle, there's the, there he is, the Wolverine, the right? Wolverine. You know what I mean? He's, and he's a huge jack man. Shnick. He's doing shots of whiskey, sneaky, he's smoking sneaky. a cigar, he's being maybe drinking beer, I forget. He's doing it, but he's over there and he's like, he's just being he's just getting the shit kicked out of him. The everybody. ripe old age of 27 years old. How old do you think he was there? I, he couldn't have been more than 30. Fuck yeah. Maybe, thir maybe early 30s. Well, they 30s. casted him so young because they knew, like, we need you for the next two decades. They, they did like, not know that. They didn't know, they did not know no that. way they, they knew planned that. it. They, did. <laughs> they planned it. Fucking, they were all over it, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Uh, and so then another guy, he's, you know, the, this ringmaster doing a great job of just really riling up this inbred Alaskan crowd. You know what I mean? <laughs> 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 Let's or Canadian crowd. Let's, Let's, Let's run the game, game man. State by state. Slow Let's fuck down. down. Fuck you, Oregon. More of these backwater Canadian fucks or whatever. You from Nebraska? Fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, one of those dumb fucks, he looks like Justin Credible from ECW. He gets up and he walks in there, and uh, the dudes, the ringmaster's like, All right, anything goes, whatever, just don't hit him in the balls. It's a funny line, right? Well, I thought anything goes. He's like, Yeah, but it'll really piss him off. And I'm like, That's funny. That's yeah, funny right that's there. Good. I like that. Yeah, you know that's what I mean? Good moment. Not a lot of funny moments in this X Men movie. Quips here and there. There are a like, couple, I mean, there not, are a couple, though. But I, like, I. Maybe five percent as much as any MCU. Oh movie. yeah, but it's oh, a different, yeah, different no, beast no, in yeah, yeah. every aspect. And they were trying I'd to be, say. I think, grounded, like we we're talking about. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You get the, you get the fucking great dynamite joke of you know what happens to a toad when it gets struck by lightning. Oh, right? Oh, yeah. The same yeah. thing. Do you that know the background behind else. that? I, kn I know there's a story. And I don't remember it. Anymore. It was just there was a series of joke of like little comments that Toad would say, where he would be ask people, you know you what know happens when a toad, and it's like he gets away. So that time she was like, you're fucked. They're like, but they cut all Darth those Maul out. didn't <laughs> talk. Off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. This is why Darth Maul didn't talk at all. Hey, but he swung that fucking. He spun yeah, that he spun thing. The stick, so you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, so yeah. You know. We're not there yet. We're not there yet. Okay. You know what I mean? Don't worry about Let it. Let him get there. Jesus, Andy. I'm waiting. Uh, so then, guess what? Wolverine, of course, ends up beating the shit out of this guy. This, this guy gets some good shots in mm -hmm. there, but mm -hmm. then he hits him, like, fucks up his hand, right? Because he's hitting mm -hmm. the adamantium or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, he's beating. Which, to me, seems super unfair that he's even in. 100%. Because he's like. There's no way that anyone. Is gonna get close, right? I've been saying it for since I saw this movie that he's a swindler. Yeah. It should have been Wolverine versus Bonesaw. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. <sighs> oh shit! Now you got it. Now you got a picture on your hands. You got a major motion picture right there Thank that you. I like a lot. Uh, it's beaten. It's time jump. Whatever. We jump back to the bar. 
Rogue's sitting there just drinking water. She's got no money. She keeps yeah, eyeing dude. the tip jar. He sees the bartender sees that and moves it. On the TV, we got more of this anti-mutant rhetoric going mm -hmm. around, how all these horrible things are happening with the mutants or whatever. Audio listeners have no idea. It's, do, uh, do video listeners know what's happening? Yeah. <laughs> That's a great point. Uh, uh, Wolverine okay. comes over to the bar to settle up a bit, and then guess what? Justin Credible's back. Like, no man could take a beating like that and not have a single bruise on him. Give my money back. He, he knows he's a freak. You know what freak I mean? Freaking mutie. Starts giving him the mutie talk, all that shit. Yeah, it turns out, yeah, I don't like mutie. you. I don't like morph anything. Anyway. Morph. Uh, and the, uh, Wolverine grabs him and throws him up on the pillar and then does the claws to his neck and just puts out two. That was dope. He does, he's like, so just walk cool. away. Blah, blah, that part blah, blah, was blah. Yeah. Then even doper I feel is the bartender then pulls a shotgun on Wolverine oh and does the God. awesome thing that I always remember Andy come here turn your head the other way and he does that thing where he puts it into the back of his hair and then brushes his hair with it like hey I got a fucking shotgun in the back of your head yeah, what are you gonna fucking do about it's it it's delicate no. it screams like hey I, I could kill you but I could also kiss you Oh. Damn! And for, for the first reveal of his claws, claws I thought it was weird the middle one coming out but I, th oh, I thought good. it was weird that it did it come out because I'm like, I don't, like well, he can control just had, had, well, he should, yeah, yeah that's the thing he can control him that's what it looked like it was an extension of him, essentially. Yeah. 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 And then I don't he, know. Is that like canon? No, what does it matter? That you can control know, I, I would, That you the, can only control someone? Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was more of like a like a rage, like, Ugh, pumping him out from you, and not like a, I mean, oh, having these the, are my uh, fingers that I can make do things. Well, can you well, do this? Fingers. I mean, it's mechanical. Well, yeah. yeah, I, I, I well, just said not can, fingers. Well, then he can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, you're right, dude. You're right. <laughs> Fuck, you got him. You got him. You got him. Look at this. You, the, you, I, mean, well, 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 I thought it was a cool reveal. I liked it then. I like it now. Yeah. Uh, you know, obviously, CG's not as good as it should be. Well, whatever. That's how right. it is. That's, we only had, you know, those computers that came in the cow boxes, the Gateway 2000s at the time. Mm. Remember those oh, things? Oh, yeah. Uh, but then you get the reveal you want where he spins around, all blades out, cuts the shotgun in half, the fucking pellet. Let's all fall everywhere. Awesome shit. Mm -hmm. Awesome shit. And then, like, Rogue sees all this. She realizes he's a mutant or whatever. And this is where timelines don't match up at all, right? Because he stomps out with his bag or whatever. And Rogue's still in there. But somehow she gets in the back of his vehicle and, like, laying on laying on this mm -hmm. thing. What? No, you're right. She just ran yeah. after him, probably. Yeah, she, she just ran off. Uh, like, immediately after him. Uh, I will but say. But I mean, like, and then but somehow running after the stealthily well, got into his car. When it's cold, you have to leave your car on for a little bit. So I'm sure okay. he was just okay. chilling. And he there did for do that thing while. where he sat yeah. in there and he rubbed his knuckles. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, so where the Wolverine. fuck else does he have to that go? Was, uh, that which, that little moment, moment, I was like, man, that's so human to just sit there and be like, oh, you know, it hurts. Yeah. Like I had to pull them out again. Yeah. I'm a I will weirdo. say this: they nailed the sound of the schnicked. Schnick, schnick, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. that like uh, it sounds so fucking violent. Yeah, it's so violent. Although I remember thinking. um Back in the in the day, and this doesn't bother me anymore, obviously, because they went with that look. But I I hated the full blade look of his claws. How thick they were? Yeah, I wanted the them shape. to be a little bit like more uh, cylindrical and come oh, to a fine point. Oh, okay. Because when when you watch them in the original comic book, like if you saw them in comic books or watch them in the cartoon, they always looked a little bit more like did they like needles? Like needles as opposed instead to like Freddy Krueger. kitchen knives. Like these, I was like, oh, they put four kitchen like three kitchen knives in each one of his hands. That's kind of. Interesting, mm -hmm. but I, looking back on it now, you're like those fucking things are menacing. Yeah. So whatever. I always thought it looked more like blade like, like they, because yeah. I always assumed that when they made them, they like sh like shaped them too. I mean, yeah. again, just a choice. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, but I just I remember thinking, wow, that's, those are really big things to have kicking around in your in your. I always thought it was like whenever you saw the bone ones in like comics or well, know, see, the they were supposed to, it, so to me they were the supposed to look more ones, like the bone ones. Yeah, the bone ones always looked really weird because they were round. But like, the thing is, like, they're they're like that, and that was what didn't make sense to me because yeah. they're bone. So you figure they they coated all of his bones with animantium, and when the claws came out, they were like, "Oh shit, we didn't know yeah. that was going to be a thing." So what? So did they go in and just well, put claws into his skin over I, the bones, or how I did that work? The bone, well, yeah, yeah, over the bones. Yeah, we'll have to wait till X two. Nah, that's fair. No, but I, that's I, when, I don't that's think that's they when ever. Bone saw comes out. Striker. <laughs> I'm gonna come oh, get you. Does have the bone ones later? Yeah. Sorry. No, you're yeah, it's fine. You're totally fine. Um, so yeah, now we're driving on the road. Wolverine just sniffs it and smells it. Smells Anna Paquin yeah. back there because she's so stinky. many powers. Exactly. Smells those ducks. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Smells those ducks on <laughs> it. The Canadian geese. Yeah. Well, that's one of his powers. I know. I know. I know. I know. Super sniffer. It's funny. It comes back later, by the way. There's a callback to it later. Yep, we're like, yep, yep. I just yep. stabbed you in the fucking stomach. Yeah, that's, you live that's, awesome. that's really cool, too. Because what is your superpower, Mystique? Why can you do all these amazing things? Yeah, she's man. a shapeshifter. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, but then when she's like, she climbed up a fucking rope upside down. Like, 
She's fucking powerful. Oh, really? She just shifts <laughs> her fingers to something that can stick Weird. to walls. I don't know. How's Hawkeye yeah. so good at shooting arrows? You know, that's how it is. Oh, he's practiced. That's, he talked about that's it. All she practices lie. too. Hawkeye's yeah. a lie. I miss Hawkeye. Um, you'll get him. Oh, you'll get him. You're fucking moron. <laughs> <laughs> he's a fucking moron. <laughs> all right, focus. Let's... I feel like I, now this is another thing I, I want to really, if I may, I think Nick and I both, Nick, get ready. Yeah. We want to shit. We want to wag our fingers at you guys. Yeah. Wag your finger. Wag your finger. Because, of course, Nick and I did our homework when we were supposed to originally film this and watched it last week. Mm -hmm. So now it's been like a week and a half. I feel like we must have jumped around and seen, I don't know, fucking Magneto or something at some point. But it doesn't matter. Well, I'm still just sticking with the Rogue thing. You don't like it? Fucking watch the movie and do it. I think that's, I, I think I think that's what happens. Yeah, right. Rogue, he's going to leave Rogue behind. She's like, I got nowhere to go. He's like, I don't fucking care. I'm a Wolverine. And he gets back and the thing drives away and then he stops and he lets her in. And then he eats some beef jerky. They start talking. She has the great line of, you know, does it hurt when they come out? He's like, every time. Every time and she's putting her gloves on, yeah, of course yeah, she's like got her gloves. Dude, so I, she's be, he, she freaks out when, or he, when he leans over and he's like, "I'm not gonna hurt you, kid." She's like, "I want to hurt you," you know, because she's got the touch powers. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know this. She's got the touch. touch. She's got the touch. She's got the power. That beef jerky, the way she ate it, made it look like the most delicious I beef jerky. Yeah. Every single time I watch that yeah. scene, I'm always like, "Fuck, that's she got some good, beef yeah, jerky." That's yeah, call. that's some good jerky right there. You know, it's what a good call. Yeah, yeah. I remember it. You should go back and watch anytime you want. She was very hungry. She was like this. They're driving. They're beginning to hit it off. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? They're they're becoming X Men or whatever, but they don't know it yet. And eventually, she's like, "You need to put your seatbelt on." He's like, "Don't tell me how to drive." The tree falls down in the road. He hits it. He goes through the windshield. And everybody's like, "Oh God, he's dead!" And then guess what? He's not dead. He gets up in the window, cracks his neck. Are you okay? That he heals up there. There's a fire starting behind her. She's trapped in the car. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. How could this get worse? I'll tell you. A very very oh. terrible character named Sabretooth oh shows up. Oh my God. And I don't mean terrible in terms. Of the comic book is terrible. I mean, like, this interpretation is so fucking so horrible, bad. dude. bad. Nick, I don't even know where you want to begin. Well, before we get to that. his makeup and wig and... <sighs> the eyebrows. A, the eyebrows. Eyes. Before we get to that, I want to call out one of the coolest shots in the movie, though. Uh, all kidding aside, is when he propels, he, he gets propelled forward, there's a top-down shot where it's just this limp body that slides <laughs> that, to a that stop. Rag doll. And I was oh, like, yeah, that yeah. was so fucked Violent. up. I, I Violent. felt like, though, like him shooting out of the car it was horrible. But, well, it, it just didn't look real. It looked like a dummy that was stiff the entire time. A little bit time. about that, but I just yeah. like that it but, yeah, the slide, yeah. I was like, that was, I remember thinking yeah. the first time I saw it, I was like, that was fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, you know, it's a way to show that he can heal. Yeah, you're like, whoa, he's clearly dead, and then he gets up and it's... The yep. cool thing, and then yeah, uh, uh, Mr. Sabretooth with his and Wolverine smells him again. He does yeah, the... uh. it it's bad. It's bad in so many different ways, especially when you when you you uh, we know that Liev Shriver is eventually eventually going to be Sabretooth, and it's a much more modernized interpretation of it, mm -hmm. and it works so much better because of the rivalry and all that stuff. Yeah, this was just a yet again like. Well, I guess we should try to make him look more like he was before, but he looked like the fucking lion from the Wizard of Oz. He looked he like the, he sounded like, like the like a lion too. Dude, the ADR the sound in this movie so bad. It's so bad when you just you see people like talking and it's like it doesn't always add up. Yeah, it, it doesn't sound right. He so many people's lines. I'm like, you're not saying that. And it, I could not shake then, nor can I shake now. That he really, stick with me on this one because you're probably gonna be the only person that gets. I'm me. here with you. Should focus. Ron Perlman from oh, Beauty God. and the Beast. Remember that yeah. TV show that he yeah. did with oh, uh, yeah. Sarah Connor? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what it reminded me of the entire time. I'm like, I want this guy to be a good guy, but he's yeah. not. He's yeah. not Ron Paul. Mm, no, he's not. For some so, reason, I thought it was going to be uh, David Harbour. Like, when I looked at him, I was like, is that a young David Harbour? I don't know who that is. I thought it was Aaron Stranger Ecker, things. But it wasn't. Uh, the oh, main yeah. From Stranger Things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, for some oh, reason, oh. thought it was him, and I was like, no, you know what? It's not him. Looked at who it was, and I was like, fuck, this guy looks like David Harbour. <laughs> like, <laughs> but it's yeah. weird. Like, you go back and look at, like, none of these people, other than Patrick Stewart and Halle Berry, were, like, really known. Even Ian McKellen back in the day, like, back then wasn't, I don't know if he had I been, think he was known as a great actor, but not, like, a movie star. But he hadn't done, if, correct me if I'm wrong, but he hadn't done Lord of the Rings yet, right? No, but I'm so, sure like, he I'm wasn't sure really. Hadn't begun yet. I'm sure he'd been in a bunch of, like, stuff overseas. The Downton Abbey. Oh, no. Yeah. He was very Probably. famous. Yeah. Uh, but he had not broken through as a mainstream movie actor. Neither had Patrick Stewart for that. Uh, matter because remember Patrick Stewart's big claim to fame was the next generation. That was pretty much it. Engage. Engage. It's number great, two, great I have to take a number okay. one. Make it so. Uh, Wolverine and Sabretooth fight. <laughs> uh, this is just another reason to hate Sabretooth because this fight is terrible. It's just a very bad fight that ends a lot with Wolverine of just getting like thrown onto the car. Yeah. Okay. And I guess this is Sabretooth has the upper hand, but guess what, everybody? Woo, the X-Men plane snowing. shows up. I it starts what it's to called. snow. <clears throat> yeah, the snow's there, and then the plane shows up, and then it's Cyclops and Storm, and they come out. And uh, Storm's got making it snow. 
and then uh, Cyclops blasts saber tooth right off into mm-hmm. the thing, and then okay, they pick up Rogue, they pick up Wolverine. Uh, you assume we don't know. They put yeah. him in the plane, they fly him back. I'm, I might be adding the deleted scene there. No, of yeah. the transport. I don't know if they showed the transport. I don't, I don't think, think so. they showed the transport. I don't recall the transport. No. He shoots the her uh, seatbelt off. That is the right, worst effect right, right, ever. Right, right, right. It was. I had to roll it back. I was like, that can't have been that bad. I rewound it and watched it again. It was. It's like After Effects 1.0. It looks like something Ooh. out of um it was a different time, out of guys. like the years old ago. Clash of the Titans movies. Yeah, like it it's looks so bad. That, it stood out really. Yeah. So many of the effects poorly. in this movie, I like. I kept looking over at G and I was just like, Andy could do this, and he does do it in party mode when he's trying to be obnoxious with the editing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? It's like but that's guys, the level of effects. now After Effects is like on another level. This 2000. is so accessible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you see what uh, you know. Uh, Fuck what Isma Hawk's doing. Like, yeah, that shit looks incredible, but like, we have better tools. Back then, I don't remember walking out and being like, man, that looked like effects look no, dumb. Yeah, yeah, it was like, true. this shit was awesome. Again, in the commentary, they talked about the world's four biggest supercomputers <laughs> had to crunch numbers for three <laughs> weeks to make those effects. All right. <laughs> that's how it was back then. You didn't yeah, know. That's fair. Y2K. It was coming from crazy. I'm going to toss this in there. I'm not sure if this is when it happens, but it doesn't really matter that much. We're just going to get to the abduction of Senator Kelly. Okay. I'm going to toss this in there just because yeah. I think uh, you figure Sabretooth was sent off to get mm-hmm. Rogue. We, they're, gonna, they're all going to think it's Wolverine, but he was there for Rogue. Meanwhile, Mystique and Toad, they went on a helicopter ride. Mm hmm. They get Senator Kelly because Mystique's been pretending to be Senator Kelly's right hand man forever, and Toad just, Toad's just there. Whatever, cool. So again, we get in there, we hear the conversation of Senator Kelly being a little douchebag trying to fucking turn the votes to get this uh, mutant registration law to go. Mm-hmm. Hangs up, and then he's talking to his pr- his bro over there about all this shit, and then uh, uh, she the bro's like, I ah, turns into Mystique, and Senator Kelly's like, ah, and then they and she grabs him with his, her feet around his neck. Is this one of your things you don't like? It's one of the things. I mean, again, that one's that Natasha, one's a little bit Natasha, more. Natasha Romanoff. Right there, you go. No, Mystique was just there's, trained. There is a part that trained. it literally looks so, like Rebecca she walks on a wall. Stamos at the time, sir. She walks what she on a did wall. is she envisioned her hands being suction cups. We, it, she can turn into anything. She I'm turns sorry. into the fuck. For the re- record, she turns into the fucking Statue of Liberty. Yeah, oh. that was stupid. So but, not like the full blown Statue of Liberty, but remember the little one. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yeah, maybe yeah. she just pictured fucking I Garfield so suction cups. They made such stupid choices like that. Yeah. Like that's just dumb. That's bad, and nobody wanted that. Also, yeah, but imagine Toad. Replace him with fucking Seth Green from Can't Hardly Wait, and you won't, yeah. wouldn't know the difference. Wouldn't no. know the difference. No, 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 yeah, yeah, no, you wouldn't know. Uh, she has a great line though: "It's people like you that made me afraid to go to school as a child." Yeah. Like, yeah. And then she does like a million kicks in his face and knocks him out. She's gonna take him back there, but we'll get to that later. Instead, we'll jump back to the old X Men fortress here. Mm-hmm. We're the down, mansion. We're down in the fucking basement. We don't know we're in the mansion yet. Okay. We're just in the basement, oh, you're right? right? You're right. And fucking Jean Grey is walking around again. Mm. Yes, I do not like her as Jean Grey. Horrible. Sorry, everybody. She's a fine actress. Seventy-six. Liked her, I liked her a lot. Woman. Nip Tuck. Seventy-six year old. Seventy-six. Yeah, you're crazy. I don't have a problem with that. No, I like. I liked her fine. You know the thing. Yeah. I, so I looked it up. I cool think she was I actually very close to the same age as uh, Hugh Jackman. I think she's only a couple years older than him. Mm-hmm. But she just, for whatever reason, like I think. It just it's, it was so, it's so, it was so out of place for me. I'm sure it was direction. I, I, mean, I, I know we like, know this and going going her. forward with the MCU and all that stuff, but it's just like when X Men is very similar to Spider Man in that the stories are better when they're young and they're actually in the school. Mm, yeah, mm. have a couple older mutants that are kind of looking out, but when you make the the team the old people, like when it's Gene and Cyclops and Storm as the old people, it's like. You you miss as the origin movie. You're missing out on a lot of the fun stuff. I think honestly, the other thing that I was expecting, again, my touchstone being the '93 cartoon series, is that Scott always came off as like a 40 year old leader, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And so having Famke uh, Jensen or the Jean Grey character feel like she was so much more mature than him the entire time was so off putting to watch. Mm. It was like, it, I mean, it, it just it kind of s- protagonist. Like absolutely. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I always I'm a thought. Woman-hater. Hundred percent. Hold on, well, he's making a point. I was no, joking but no, but I mean, like, but it was just, it was just off casting. I think had they, I don't know, I don't, it's hard to pinpoint what's wrong with they that equation. To, I'm with you. They neither, they either needed to age Cyclops up and give him the similar footing and experience, or age her down. Yeah, that's because exactly even right. she speaks in the movie about how, like, oh, Prof- Professor X is teaching me to like, it's like what? How long have like, you been here? Right? Yeah, like, what have you been 40? here forever? Can yeah, exactly. But they're all teachers too, like. I think the Mar- yeah I don't know I think the egregious thing is Cyclops I, I I love James Marsden because I feel like he's gotten the shaft in everything he's ever been in but I just True. hated him in this I'm like he's too young he doesn't he has zero screen presence as far Total as commanding night. against Wolverine and like what I always liked about the cartoon series me, was that you you wanted Wolverine and Jean Grey to get together but you understood why she was with Scott you respected Scott you re- you respected him as like he was the guy that was holding the team together he was the leader they needed even though you wanted to see what would happen if Wolverine took over the team every once in a while 
But like in this, he just came off as this shitty little piss yeah, kid who knew that someone else was going to bang his girlfriend. And, and I, was like, I even think that they didn't do a good job with Wolverine and Jean and that relationship. It's like, okay, it's obvious you're force feeding well, it that they first off, attention. But like looking back now, kind of creepy. Oh, right? yeah. His, oh, yeah. All of his oh, interactions, he asshole. just like yeah, immediately yeah. was like, I'm into you. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you about this. And like, ooh. Although it it's does, really I do question why uh, a man who just went. <laughs> I didn't hear what he said. <laughs> okay. Did, did it not bother anyone else though that the fact that he just got punted through a windshield and woke up a second later and then all of a sudden he was in like a coma for like fucking eight hours? And then he also for, did the electric things yeah. on him, right? And then like later he rips him off and like it, he stays damaged for a while throughout the movie. Like there's a scene of him later, like when he's outside the mansion. And it's like, why, why didn't that heal? The still hay cells. There's like, like no welts. consistency with your body damage. The healing, but yeah. anyway, this next part's cool. Yeah, he's he's there. He's knocked oh, out. Yeah. The fucking uh, Jean Grey shows up. She pours a thing in his arm. That's when he wakes up. He goes, he grabs her by the neck, right, 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 throws her down, runs out, and then yeah, we start getting the Professor X. Over here, over here, over here. Over here. I was impressed. He's like all scared. And he's like hiding and shit. It's really good. It's really good. Over here. Put on the head thing and do it. And then it'll just be like photo reel. Um, <laughs> he eventually the elevator opens though he gets in there the clothes he kind of freaks out he comes up oh he's in the school people are running around he's being all stealthy still getting the over here over there whatever eventually opens the door runs into a classroom there it is Professor X with a whole bunch of kids you want to name drop some mutants in there uh, was this the scene with Jubilee? Jubilee. Jubilee's yeah. there. Uh, Kitty Pride right. leaves yeah, her stuff. Shadow she grabs there. it. Different yeah. Shadow Cat that we get in the future, and different Jubilee that we get in the future. Different Pyro. Well, I past. mean, like that. And Ellen Page, you know, that could still be her. No, you know no. what I mean. It's well, not well, Ellen Page. I'm saying she was just surgery. she was just another brunette girl. It's fine. I, I suspend disbelief there. I don't think that was a recasting as much as that that girl ages into becoming uh, Ellen uh, Page. Pride. Okay. I don't think that's how that works, Tim. Like, you know, it's not Pyro you know. too, right? Yeah, we yeah. Used to, well, he's yeah. coming up. He's not there yet. He's not there yet. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he was in that class. Was he? Yeah, he's, he made he made that ball of fire to be like, oh, look what I can do. Nope. I, that uh, you guys are still though, way ahead of where I am. Yeah, yeah, this is where out. we run. Wolverine runs You're into right. Professor You're X's right. room. You're right. I'm sorry. Don't fucking touch me. <laughs> Don't touch him. <laughs> it's gonna go <laughs> no. fucking down. And I just want you guys to know I got Andy's back. Wait, what? I don't feel like Andy's part of the like. Andy, I got your back, brother. <laughs> you and me, buddy. You and me. We're gonna fight these motherfuckers what? right now. <laughs> Here we go. Guess what? We're gonna just drop a lot of exposition on you. I'm yeah. Storm, and I'm so stormy. Here's just it's yeah, it's <laughs> Professor X talking in a VO to uh, Logan here and just explaining fucking everything. And we're seeing kids run on water, them use powers to play basketball. I'm Cheap sure all you Marvel nerds out there know each and every one of these piss ants, but they're That's not going to go anywhere. basketball guy. This was the... He's this really good at basketball. <laughs> <laughs> My mutant <laughs> powers, I can fucking dunk. Wolverine, the only, way to, <laughs> the only way to activate this bomb is to toss it through that hoop. None of us have the skills. <laughs> <Get> basketball, basketball <laughs> kid. <laughs> yeah, this whole part just, it seemed like a... A fucking VHS training tutorial with like the music and him talking. It was just so. I like it. I think that's the I, point. Though, yeah, right? a lot of cool visuals. I don't know if it was done. I on liked purpose, it, it for We're a moment. It world. was like emerging you in the world, and it's like, look how much is going on. It is and a then, cheap or a cheesy school. Yeah, but not only that. I think that at I the just, end of it, I don't you think have that, they meant to do it that way. I think though. it was the intent. At, at the end of it, you have that moment where he's like giving everyone's names, being like, "This is." Uh, Cyclops and yeah, Storm, yeah, yeah. and he's like, "What are you wheel? <laughs> wheels? 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 wheels. <laughs> wheels. What do they call you? Wheels? The stupid thing I've ever heard." And it was just, it was good. I liked it. I liked the mocking. And them. then, yeah, he. So they wait this whole conversation. Then is that he stomps off and sees Rogue because he's not into this. He's not feeling it. Oh right? yeah. Then he walks away and he sees Rogue like kind of having a good time. And Rogue, with, yeah, with my boy they, Bobby. Yeah, of course, Bobby Drake. This is the, the scene you were talking about. Yeah, where Pyro mm. makes fire. Bobby freezes it. Falls. In. Welcome to mutant high. Quantum Break? Yeah. yeah, Quantum Break, fuck yeah. Well, is it, he, his, it always fucks me up that he has the twin brother who was on Smallville. No, this is Quantum Break. And then yeah. it gets even more fucked up because they were both on Smallville, different characters. Because they were both in Animorphs. Or only he was in Animorphs. Yeah, only he was. Sean Ashmore. Yeah. Sean Ashmore. The Ashmore twins, great folks. Glad they're doing well. Uh, that happens, and yeah, uh, Logan's like, they seem like all right people talking to Rogue. We're mixing and matching here a little mm -hmm. bit on what we're doing. But I also think, isn't it, that uh, Professor X here is like, there's another guy, Magneto, He's up to some shenanigans. If he's interested in you, that's bad news. I need you, you to just stay, put. Just stay, stay here a few days, days yeah. and I, I promise you I'll go into your fucked up mind, and I'll, I'll try to help you get some of the answers you're looking for. Yes. Right? It's been 13 right. years, hasn't it? <laughs> some shit. And he was like, yeah. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Now, do, do we know at this point, like, is it, I forget, does Rogue have a crush on Wolverine? 
Is she kind of into no, him? Or is it no, more no, like no. a fatherly? I think it's more of a, it is weird that later she's like sneaking up on him while he's sleeping. It's like family. You know? Know? Yeah, we'll get to that. I, I think it's more of a family thing. It's a kind of they they like got a each other's thing. backs. It's similar to Andy Just and like Nick. I got Andy's back. Exactly. But like, you got to remember, they knew each other for a total of like but 20 minutes. But it was the first mutant right? she had ever seen. Because her fucking hormones were popping yeah. up. Yeah. At the very, very end. She didn't get that dude with that raging fucking heart on earlier. And now and she's like, what can I... still oh, a young sorry, girl that we're talking about. At she's the very at least end, 18, 19 Jean Grey legal. mentions to Wolverine, uh, she's taking a liking to you or whatever, yeah, and yeah. then Wolverine says, well, my heart belongs to somebody else. So like, Which is weird, because yeah. that's somebody else. Literally just met a day ago. Yeah. Strange. And married, you know what I mean? Yeah, weird. Stop being an is she married? Wolverine. He's creepy. Yeah. At that point? It, Aren't they? Are they not? I always uh, interpreted. See, again, who knows how fucking no, old they um, are in this movie? I think the fact well, we, that he says stay away from my girl James yeah. doesn't Marsden seem like a very no, but he said, no, that, no, because he Wolverine starts that. This is where you tell me to stay away from your girl, like because it's trying to be like a cheesy exactly. fifty thing. But then we stay away from my fucking girl. And by the way, neither of these people are menacing in this scene. There's no. It's just a bad scene altogether. The, the dialogue is terrible. But it seemed like so a bad. real scene between two like idiots. You know? I don't know, man. I'll no. give you that. No, it does yeah. seem like a scene between two idiots. That's for sure. Uh, meanwhile, back at Magneto Palace. The worst scene, and I'm fucking putting this down, the worst scene in comic book movie history. Wow. And I know that that is a Dude, big statement. I, but the problem is, he Magneto's in this weird little fucking device. Mm -hmm. and then <laughs> Just yeah, I mean, being old. And then we get the senator coming out. And then Magneto kind of says some things, and it's not clear at all What's what the on? fuck is happening. Yeah. They, want like, you, they don't want you to know yet. Uh, yeah. But like... That's not good. Well, before Nothing that, though, about that is good. Magneto kind of like hurts himself. It kind right. of seems. This is it, the most. Shoe, this, <laughs> this is the most Schumacher this movie gets. Where it's like this. It was so reminiscent of like of of Riddler in and Batman Forever doing like the green rays to people. Yeah, like yeah, this yeah. was like that cheesy and that terrible. Looking, was this man. was was there a scene before this when they were in his office though and they, they had all those cool elements with metal because I did like that uh, where the ball yeah, was yeah, going that, that was when, and you were like uh, oh that's cool and then as he left they all just fell down. Yeah, I guess like, that's, that when, fucking rad. that's when that's when Sabretooth comes in and confesses Says, he didn't I, get him. I didn't get him. But he has the dog tags for Wolverine. He puts those down. Right. And then or no, Magneto takes them and then they try to leave and he goes and grabs him again. And then I guess this is when they show up with the senator, put him in the metal chair. Yeah. I like when Magneto walks and drags the chair behind that him. That's cool. Magneto climbs into his little stupid fucking contraption yeah. where his magnetism is going to cause radiation and power this thing to spin fast enough yeah. to, and to take a, or to turn this guy into a mutant. To fucking change yeah. human genes, yeah. Like, what the Genome fuck? experiment? Thank you, David Hayter. Oh, shit. That's where, yeah. But he does yeah. that giant white ball, like, comes out, like you're saying, really terrible effects of his face warping. Really you know bad. what I mean? Like, yeah. okay, whatever. But we don't know at this point if it's actually done anything, right? right. No. And that's the one thing is I was expecting when I watched this the second time. I was like, oh, clearly he does something with his hand and his hand like goes plastic for a second. And we, we know that it's actually affected him, but we don't get that payoff until a little bit later. Personally, terrible effects, a stupid through line, I think. Well, uh, a stupid execution. Mm -hmm. I like the idea that Magneto's just I like the idea, yeah. You're all going to be fucking mutants. No, yeah. great idea. That's a great yeah, idea. Yeah. Horrible execution. I, that's my I, problem. But my thing is it. I didn't mind it this time or when I originally watched it of not knowing what. Like, he just did really? something. What did he do? What's yeah. going to happen? And oh, then, man. Because then I, it I leads to the scene of like, them yeah. coming to confront him, right? And like, send it to Kelly. How are you feeling? Blah, blah, blah. And he's already put his face through the bar. He figured out he, he's like. He's hanging out on the side of the cliff. Well, yeah, yeah. But I skip it. He puts his face through the bar. And then, yeah, they come in. And it's him and Sabretooth. Look down there. Senator Kelly's hanging there. Magnus fucking pushes the wall out because he's got that magnet, magnet mm -hmm. power. And then he's like, oh, you're one of us now. And like and Sa Sabretooth <laughs> grabs him and tries to pull him <laughs> out, but he slides <laughs> out and he falls. Yeah. And then he, he so closes slippery. the bars on Sabretooth. I love that. Sabretooth yeah. does the shittiest roar. <laughs> it's just like a canned roar from whatever lion they saw. Great. <laughs> Went to the fucking zoo one day with a beer and fucking shotgun Mike the lion. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear a guy in the background going, hey, Timmy, come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put your head in the cage. <laughs> Wait, what do they do with the beer? <laughs> they're they're drinking the beer while they're, they're fucking yeah. shotgun Mike. That's Mike what you and, do when you shotgun Mike things, man. Yeah. You're doing it wrong the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, you should have known, man. <laughs> Got it, right? So, yeah, you know, Magneto, he's not happy with this failure. Yet no, another failure, right? Then... One would wonder why you'd pick uh, Sabretooth Saber and Toad. Yeah. Mystique yeah, they're more clearly honest. doing no, everything right. Toad, Toad was doing a great job. He's like, like, every fair. time he's going out, he's he's getting things done. Saber Tooth, the fucking yeah. idiot, apparently. He's getting shocked yeah, left and right. Sucks, yeah. Throwing shit, out yeah. windows. Dumb Is this shit. when... Does it cut immediately to the beach scene? No. I thought there was a little bit of time. So I'm just... 
one of the conversations at the X Mansion well, to establish all this stuff with the X X Men. Is this where we cut back? Is it, yeah, is, it yeah, cuts yeah, back okay, to yeah, Rogue. And, yeah, and Bobby's a dick to Rogue and is like, no, 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 no you're before. right. There yeah, it is. That's the what we're skipping. We missed the thing. What we're skipping <laughs> is Wolvie's having a nightmare. He's having flashbacks to Striker, putting all the adamantium in him. He's underwater. He's doing this stuff. Uh, Rogue can't sleep. She hears uh, Wolverine having a freak out up there. She goes up there to try to wake him, but she can't touch him. Of course, she's like, Logan. Logan trying to wake him up or whatever, and then he he does he wakes up oh God, and he does the yes. fucking claws right through or whatever. Dope. It's fucking awesome. Very yeah, very dope. intense scene. <laughs> yeah, and he's like help help help, and it's awesome. Yeah. Fucking yeah. rad scene. All these shitbag kids show up. They got no idea. No Basketball idea. boys Basketball like, boy. what can I do? <laughs> 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 it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. <laughs> <He's been laughs> And bops off Rogue's like <laughs> <laughs> lands in the trash. Uh, nobody's gonna get there in time. So yeah, Rogue takes off her. Uh, did she even have the glove? I forget. Takes off the glove, grabs Wolverine face, sucks off the the regenerative healing. <laughs> <laughs> Once you suck off, Greg, <laughs> all the holes do it. A Wolverine collapses. Uh, 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 Cyclops and uh, Storm show up. Right, and like, oh, mm, very angry. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, okay, cool. Then we get the beach scene. We'll say. With yeah. the Stan Lee cameo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. So, yeah. As, as the, yeah. The no dog, words, though. As the hot dog yeah, well, yeah, it was different. Line. Now, fun fact about Stan Lee that I did not realize. Stan Lee does not have a cameo in every X-Men movie. In fact, not many of them. Mm -hmm. uh, only How has fun. cameos in X-Men, X-Men The Last Stand, Apocalypse, uh, and Deadpool 1. And Deadpool 2 has like that bullshit-ass like mural of him on a, yeah. on a building, mm. but like not a proper cameo. Um, he was asked to do a cameo for First Class, but he said the, the shooting was too far away. So he was like, no. Yeah. Excelsior. Uh, yeah, so Senator <laughs> Kelly bops up in the water, and he's like a jellyfish man for a second. And then he reforms, and he's just fucking stark-ass naked. He had those gills in his back? Yeah. That's part scary. of, like, a fucking family. Like, the, I laughed so hard because, like, these families are, like, on a beach having a party watching fucking 60 Minutes. Like, what are they doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is that? <laughs> Wait, yeah. Why is, like, this serious-ass news coverage on the TV? Because the hot dog vendor or whoever so wanted weird. it. His little hot dog. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. There's fucking uh, Senator Kelly's dick swinging around. Do you want to do abs for Senator Kelly? Uh, there were no abs for Senator. Okay, Kelly. so I don't know if you want. I don't know if that's, there were is no it, abs. It's for an him? NR. Uh, I mean, if you if you if you would like to, I was giving you the shot. Rank those abs right now. Were Andy. they born born in labs? Now it's time to rank those abs. We we see the beginning of abs mm. in this movie, right? <laughs> Hugh Jackman looks great with the shirt off, but not, He's not a Jack tremendous Jack amount. Yeah. Of definition in either his shoulder muscles, biceps, triceps, or abs. So I'm unfortunately, and I'm sorry, Hugh, if you're watching this, but you'll rank higher later in the movies as you you, you really get into your fitness regimen. So uh, the he's real thing be is, with rank those list. abs with this series. This is yeah. probably just going to be Wolverine at various states. Yes, and probably is just going to be every movie. Every movie than gets the better. Last. I mean, that's exactly <laughs> what happens, right? You see him here. He, he looks like a babe, right? Smooth edged. Mm -hmm. Just no sharpness to him whatsoever. By the time we get to Logan, it. his veins have veins and muscles on them. He's got that big, thick fucking vein that runs all the way down. Just fucking like, oh, put all the supplements in me at one time. And I, I think he earned it. I will say that later on we do get the Wolverine Origins movie, but this is really the origins of the Hugh Jackman. Like, we're seeing, we're seeing something take place where it's like, this is where his body... Is growing and we're gonna watch it evolve. Yeah, this is the origin story of it, really, of it the is. abs. Yeah, it is. And I'm glad we witnessed it. Great, mm -hmm. absolutely. So, Senator Kelly's jellyfish man. He comes out of the water. We jump back to the X Mansion. Wolverine again has been comatose for a little bit. He's been on his booty. He got bopped down. He knocks right? out easy in this movie. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's he's come back too because the regenerative health. Yeah. He, if she would have held on longer, she might have killed you. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. Basketball boy threw a <laughs> basketball boy is like fucking sweet layup. Threw a bounce pass at him. <laughs> but it turns out while all this is happening, yeah, you know. Oh no, this yeah, this is when Mystique had shown up as Bobby Drake, and it was like, oh, you got to fuck. You got to go. X is pissed. You got to go. You whatever. Go. Huh? So she ran away. Yeah, Again. we'll say there. Again, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, and so then sense. Wolverine comes out of it. They discover that she's ran away. Uh, we get our first dip into Cerebro, mm -hmm. where we go down there, and Professor X goes in there. You can see every mutant, every human, whatever the fuck he wants to do. I can't do it. Takes too much concentration. He puts it on and My uses to find her. Defined. She's at <laughs> she's at the train station. Yeah, he goes off. Uh, so then we send. Uh, well, it's gonna be Cyclops and whoever they're gonna Cyclops storm. and Storm. They're gonna go, but Wolverine's like, I want to go. Like, you can't fucking go. Wolverine's like, fuck you. I'll go and I'll somehow Just get out of here faster than your cycle. Steals Ball. motorcycle. Takes that off. motorcycle. The CG from when he sped up. Yeah, no, no. It's holy no good. shit! Not good. not good at all. 
<laughs> How did they fuck that? I feel like <laughs> they could have just spe- sped up regular film. Well, well, why does the motorcycle speed. need a turbo on it? It's just it weird. Was like yeah, that was really it was like a really quick. Really the, the, the highway was all like winding yeah, and turning. Like, you're run. fucking going right off the That's a terrible idea. Wait, did they open the door and find the senator yet? No, but we can do it right here if we want. Yeah, like when does that happen? Whatever. The senator knocks on the door and guess what? There it is. It's the senator Kelly and he's dripping wet. He's fucking ready for it. He wants it so bad. That's another thing. What were his mouth powers? Just open like water. When, he, when he eventually, I know I'm jumping ahead a little bit, but he kind of dies. Fish <laughs> right? turns into water, yeah. But like, I think it was that he was, I mean, his power would be uh, uh, being uh, not, I want to say liquidity. That's not what I mean, but you know what I mean? Being able, like how he pushed himself uh, like through the bar. Alex like, Mack. Alex Mack kind of thing. Yeah. I don't think he could ever, I don't think he could ever do the Alex Mack's, I'm, or Mac, Mac, I'm just water, but I feel more like he could do like. Plastic man kind of thing, but, but be then like why water. did he die? Did he because his, his cells were breaking down; take, they weren't yeah. doing right. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the thing, the actual. Okay. Also, why did he work. have gills? Why not? Because like that Great just point. doesn't why make not? sense for why like. Not? I don't right, know. Something's, I guess. something's fishy about this. <laughs> 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 so the senator goes down there and they put a bunch of electric. He was a big fan of David Schwimmer. He's down there. Meanwhile, the train station. Logan gets there and finds her first. She's on the train or whatever. He gets on there and he's talking to Rogan. Like, what do you say we give these guys one more chance? Well, it's all gonna be fine. The train's rolling away. And then inside the train station, Cyclops and Storm are there, and they're like, "Oh man, we gotta look around, find it." And Storm's like, "I'm a superhero. You know what I'll do is I'll go check with the station agent." Just one dude, see if he's seen this chick. <laughs> All right, that's one way to do it. And she waits in line, and then, <laughs> the line, then she gets to be next in line, and Sabretooth stomps on in, you fucking grabs her. Like, run up the wall behind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sabretooth not at all trying to like hide or no. be disguised. Zero subtlety. No. Yeah, not at all. In there, those three inch and nails. So, and so yeah, then uh, Sabretooth grabs her. Uh, Scott tries to do something, but Toad hits off his fucking visor, right, and he shoots through the fucking roof. Uh, this gives Storm the a- chance to go fucking milky eyed and bring in the rain and the thunder and the lightning and all that jazz. They're fighting there. Meanwhile, on the train with the cool people, uh, the trains are going like, oh fuck, we're on a train now, whatever. We'll just ride it out. Guess what? Train stops abruptly. It's Magneto and he tears apart the ass of the train and starts coming in through it. And everybody's like, oh my god, what's I thought that was a dope scene. Yeah, very good scene. Very, very good scene. And then yeah, Logan stands up and he's all like. Ah, I'm gonna get you, bub. He's like, "What do you want with me, bub?" He's like, "You." Who said anything about you? I but he does the you. thing. But did he, did he already do? Or he, did, he fucking crucifies? Yeah. Well, no, he's like, yeah. "Tell me, does that m- d- delicious metal run all the way through your body?" That was and he, awesome. You can see him just move the claws, uh, and it's like, "Oh, yeah. that's gotta yeah. hurt." Yeah, Ooh. it's like someone lifting your fingernail. Uh, yeah. Oh, I don't like that one bit. And then, uh, who this, said anything about you? This is a, one of those funny moments where Gia no idea about any of these fucking things, origin stories, or so it's all new to her. Sure. And so her watch is just like. Wait a minute. So the main bad guy can control fucking metal, and one of the main good guys is just made of metal. I'm like, that's the that's the brilliant. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And if he takes his helmet off, the other guy can get into his head. Yeah, yeah. See, all sorts yeah. of cool there shit. There you go, man. It's all, and then, Charmander Squirtle bolt. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, what, exactly. Then, what does uh, what is <laughs> what does Xavier do to Wolverine? You don't want to Same know. Same thing. His head's touchy. Oh, shit. It throws Wolverine down. He goes doom, 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 through all the doorways and shit. Very cool. Very cool. Very his cool. arms like. Because he was crazy, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Bom, 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 and his arms doors, like yeah. smack and hit in, and it's just oh. like, oh, God, that looked painful. Very bad, very yeah. bad, very bad. Uh, Magneto gets his hands on Rogue then, going to take her out there. Uh, we go back into the train station or whatever. I don't know. They're still fighting, but for some reason now they're both incapacitated. Storm and Cyclops are incapacitated. Yeah. Uh, Magneto uh, with, or no, Magneto. Uh, uh, Toad. Yeah, Sabretooth and, and Mystique or no? Where's and Mystique? Rogue. No, Rogue. Mystique wasn't Mystique there. there. Uh, they leave. Uh, Sabretooth's got Rogue slung over her shoulder. Uh, Charles is there, though. He gets in everybody's head. Sabretooth grabs uh, uh, Magneto, and the cops are all there. Cops have surrounded the place. Best yeah. scene in the fucking movie. Really? Yeah, it's good scene. Great scene. scene. Great yeah, yeah. Yeah. Stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely think so. Yeah. I him think pulling all the guns, turning him. Yeah, and, I, and that not being hearing the gunshot and all yeah. that. Like, yeah. I feel like they did that. They built it so well. Having Sabretooth grab him, there's that moment where, like, wait, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, is Sabretooth, like, having a change of heart or some yeah. shit? And it's like, oh, no. Then He's I just feel like it was the them. best example of Magneto and Professor X both using their powers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But then that one guy with a bullet against his head, just move your head back. Well, you I'm sure the bullet would have gone back with him. Like there was constant pressure, you know. He flips all the guns around. He's like, "Oh, you can stop me, Charles. What can you? I, can you stop them all? I don't even know if I can." And he fucking pulled he, everything cocks and everybody's pointing at their guns or whatever. And then yeah, yeah one go- bullet just burning in the dude's head. Finally, uh, Professor X relents and gives uh, Sabretooth and Toad back control. They all get on their little plane to fly away. 
Uh, we're back to the X. Oh, that's where Mystique was, right? She was flying the right. plane. No, no. Well, no, I don't think so because I think this is when Mystique mm-hmm. had, mm-hmm. as Bobby had infiltrated and fucked with Cerebro. Oh yeah. And I probably jumped around a little bit. She she became Wolverine to. No, no. She stayed as Bobby. She went all the way down yeah. there, changed yeah. herself into Charles Xavier's eye, got in there, put a blue tube in there or whatever to fuck with Cerebro. Man, Did they just I'm forget really the red ha- mark on the guy's forehead. Like, yeah. They're clearly really zoomed in on this man, <laughs> and like, yeah. and he's like. Like oh shit that fucking kind of hurt or whatever, but yeah, he screams in a way that was like oh god that's just they, nothing. They have it. They have it for half a second, and then half when you go second, back yeah, to it, it's gone. Huh. Probably some PG thirteen bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Uh so doesn't matter. They're gone. We'll fucking track them through Cerebro. Charles Xavier goes in his little Cerebro pod, puts on. Oh, they, they fucking the spiked my drink. They spiked my drink, everybody. <laughs> He's down. He's in a coma because comas just happen left and right. Left and right, dude. Sex man. Uh, they immediately figure out what was wrong with Cerebro. Somebody plugged in this thing. They unplug it. Everything. They're, oh, it was unplugged. Liquid, liquid clears. Everything's great. Um, they're ready to do their. What's the plan going to be? They're figuring it out still, and how's it going to happen, right? And then they fi- start p- piecing together that people are going to be out at Liberty Island and doing all this shit. And like, okay, cool. It's the fucking UN or whoever. The Peace Council bullshit. Uh. For some reason, Jean's like, I gotta go do it. I gotta go do Cerebro now. She goes down there. It's too much for her, but she gets a beat on where they're gonna be. Figures out the plan. I guess this is where she yeah, figures yeah, out Yeah, I think plan. that's how they went. Uh, time to suit up. We all gotta go to Liberty Island and do this shit. Um, this is where I was zoning out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me too. Yeah, sure. I, I took question. a little bit of a nap. You, how, at what point do you think uh, Professor X made the costume for Wolverine? Do you think that was right? No, I think there. It was supposed uh, yeah. to be a backup, I think. I think they have a, like a a bunch of like medium large, like but, why, but his had large. the oh so, okay so they yeah. so that was just a costume that just became his look. There was yeah. a tag on it that said for a wolf like hero in Got the future. Because yeah. I was like, why are there why would there be differences in these costumes unless they were made for exact the specific people? Yeah. Do was you think that there is another boy? mutant kid in the school called Costume Boy? Sure. sure. And when he's called <laughs> upon, the seamstress, it just goes ooh ooh ooh. And he's like, <laughs> basketball boy is like, you did a great job. Wearing like a leather basketball jersey. Yeah, yeah man. <laughs> give me that. Give me that leather outfit. What Martin is Lawrence what is their special. Called? Their X Jet has something, some name, right? The Quinn Jet. No, it's that's just, it's Night X-Jet, Stalker. Right? Is it the X Jet? That's okay. a cool no, fucking it's, name. Are you wearing the XFL shirt on purpose? Oh. Yeah. That's Shit. really fucking. Well, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm wearing because XFL's back, baby. 2020. You who can wait? But then, yeah, of course, X. Yeah. You guy. Come on, That's smart, X, man. It's a good Easter egg for you right there. Ah, X gonna give when we do the X Men <laughs> in review, in review, where we review the show and do the it. Blackbird. Blackbird, all right. Mm. Uh, they get in there. That's also where we get the thing. Chat. Where uh, uh, Wolverine makes fun of the outfit and he's like, what do you, mm. you know, what do you want? Yellow spandex. Everything in the theater's like, yeah. We did. Didn't make sense at all for. Yeah, like it's just the same. Why? Very specific. Why yellow spandex? Yeah, because I mean it was a joke. Just no, I know, but it's inside joke. Is he looks at the camera and he winked, and then Jim Halpert looked and was like, (laughs) (laughs) "He's like, you'll get this joke (laughs) (laughs) another decade." Uh, They fly over to Liberty Island. They're gonna come in on approach. This is where you kind of get to see some of them use their powers together. Like Storm, give us cover, and yada yada. And they come. All right, cool. Fog, man, that makes sense. That's good. Uh, They fly in low, and they get there right. Uh, they walk into the Statue of Liberty's base, and they w- walk by Mystique <laughs> as the Statue <laughs> of Liberty. So bad, man. And they're like, "All right, that's a weird. She can be inanimate objects. <laughs> oh Why not? God. All right, cool." Sure. And again, the movie just here's where we're just gonna do just terrible fight Shit scenes. The bed, man. Yeah, this is just bad Art. fight scenes all over the place. I, when they doing. show them run up the stairs for so long, I was like, "Why? <laughs> <laughs> they could have just cut that out." <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know what I mean, pretty much everything from this point on, you're yeah, like, "Yeah, not good." Uh, no, you know, including the, I mean, we're skipping obviously ahead, but including the fact that when they all get together and they finally have to work together as a team, it's just dumb. Yeah, like okay, well, he's gonna go up there and you're gonna steady him. And she's gonna blow him up there. A lot of it is like it is just a lot of weird. is a lot of it, it is these weird. Uh, what were you we talking about earlier? Where they're Mutations. like wired in the wire. wire work. Work. Oh yeah, yeah the wire work. We're like it's a weird, like really slow moving kick, and then it's a cut to somebody jumping back as if they were hit by that kick, and it just looks like dog shit, man. What's I bad? could not believe how I appreciated when bad when was. Wolverine was like, uh, "We're not alone in here." That, that was, was cool. cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. I liked the you know moving cup of Mystique, right? Where they. Who's who? You don't know who yeah. the real person is. When it didn't make any sense for me, like of course she gets stabbed. Obviously jumping ahead, right? And when he she's acting like Storm, and that's great. One problem, you're not her. So that was cool, very mm-hmm. cool, right? And she goes, "Oh, everybody's everybody." Okay, cool. You got stabbed in the gut, and you went down. And now you got the holes in your gut. Right. I got that. That's cool. I understand you're hurt. 
when Wolverine chopped off your claws, yeah, where, what were those? Weren't those you as well? Like, uh, shouldn't you have a huge gash when you go like, back? Or missing that, an arm or a hand? You're yeah. What's weird to me is that, like, I, I don't... It's weird to me that she even has Wolverine's claws. Yeah. yeah. And that was the thing. Yeah. I think it's... Uh, I might be wrong, but do they go they claw, claw at some, some point? point. Yeah. It's like, well, you're not real adamantium, right? Like, this is what you're talking about. How yeah. does she climb up walls? How does she do this? Like... I would assume, yeah. I mean, she's replicating different fabrics and stuff. And if she was but doing it's fake, right? Because yeah. why not? It's just just okay. I'm, yeah, gonna I guess so. I'm gonna fabricate my entire body out of adamantium. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, uh, it's very. That character was very poorly. Yeah, I've never heard good explanations on how Mystique's skin works. Unlike so. Toad, who I feel like is the sleeper hit of this entire <laughs> movie, right? That's when he does the Darth spin Maul stuff. spin stuff. Yeah, like, he if you didn't know, I'm kicks. Ray Park. I'm yeah. Ray Park. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I love that he d he does do that little slight homage to like, hey, you know, I'm like, I'm Darth, I, I'm Darth Maul, Maul so everyone bit. knows this. And he kicks her down the elevator shaft. And then we get, uh, I actually, I thought it was a cool scene with Storm where like she comes up the elevator shaft and her eyes that are glowing cool. and shit cool. starts going. And then she says... What has to be the best written line ever? No. Just the best. What happened? You know what happens with Toad when he's electrified? He's like, ah, because <laughs> I can't talk because my my he's fucking tethered the thing. tongue to tether. She's like the same thing that happens to everything else. Well, which is not true because different substances react differently to electricity. Just yeah, want everyone that, to know that. That, that is a solid <laughs> point. Do you very different. They die. They, they die before. is what she meant. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, and then which, it goes when this scene like was sad for me because I was like, oh right, I forgot. Uh, Storm can fly, yeah. which is something that. Remember well, no, this. She, she Remember comes up later. She can't fly. That was her thing when she. I mean, he says, "Why don't you fly up there?" She's like, "It doesn't work like that." How I does it work? I can't storm? control it. <laughs> does it only work in <laughs> elevator shafts? I think it was a contained area where she could make air underneath her. I'm not justifying like you know whatever, but I don't it, know. Was it, it was a day. It was. It's annoying. Anyways, yeah, they run up to the the thing because of course this is all going to be done in the fucking torch of the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. Weird choice, whatever. But uh, you're all for theatrics, Magneto. I'll give it to you. Theatric. You know exactly. I gotta say this next moment. I thought it made Magneto look very powerful. When like the fact that like these yeah, kids there's out. there's that hole. And they all get up there and like, I guess let's stand here till something. Oh, Magneto came out and he just beat everyone. Well, I appreciate right. when he gets up there From, and, and Wolverine's like, you got to run. And they're like, why? He's like, I can't, can't move. move. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. That's really yeah. cool. Yeah. But yeah, Magneto comes down, throws them all on the sides of the Statue of Liberty head. All right. Whatever. Yeah, Aim Cyclops Wolverine's at him. Like, yeah. Yeah. Cool. And that's the thing too. Like. I'm gonna aim your claws into your chest. I'm like, he can fucking re heal. He can what is, heal. What is oh, yeah. So why would that? Him, like, though. why would him stabbing himself make it so the magnetism stopped? Well, I think I think the idea was, and then correct me if I'm wrong, is that the magnetic mag the magnetism. What was that? What you magnetism? Mean? Magnetism. I'm stupid. Sorry. Okay. We'll go to science with Kev later. Uh, I think that's not what's holding them there anymore. I think what, it was that right. he did this, did this, wrapped them up in steel, and then he's like, cool, I'm going to bounce and let Rogue touch me and take right. my power. She's going to so take power okay, and he won't then, be able to... How did stabbing him... Like, do you think he stabbed himself with enough force that his claws... Went all ripped, the way through and, and pushed, pushed off him? the wall? No, but, well, I mean, like, what they show is that... And don't get me wrong, it's shitty, mm -hmm. but it goes all the way through, and then there's straps behind him of metal. So he, that are like so he cuts those, right. and he falls from the wall because right. nothing's holding him anymore. Now, one could also argue that a better strategy... Uh, used by my uh, implemented by Magneto would just be to kill all these people. Sure. Just fucking sure. kill them. But why see, would you? You killed he didn't all kill these mutants. other people. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I'm I'm not. He's. I kind of understand Magneto. But he was this willing. Is, it's our world inherit. I don't want to kill my mutant brothers. God, I want except to, except yeah. for Rogue, who he like, was willing to let die. A sacrifice had to be made. <laughs> this is it's one of those. This is a classic. You caught me monologuing, monologuing moment, right? Yeah. Where it's like we just. Why am I leaving you guys alive? It makes no sense. Well, because of course it's a movie and you guys have to win at the end. Well, and that's the whole thing too. Is even like jumping ahead too, where he gives Rogue the powers and she gra grabs on. I'm like, what forced her to grab on? I like that. No I idea. never. I was there. A, did he give her like some implant thought that she had to grab too, where she doesn't it could understand be that how to the use the powers them. were new to her and like kind of just going haywire? I hear you, but that's a pretty a big, sure. I mean, Leap. risk for him to take. What if it was the opposite of like, all right, now, now fuck, you can control it? She's like, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna touch it. Oh, check I this out. It's metal. Yeah, it's not, <laughs> yeah, not I mean, that hard for me. Doesn't matter. Sabretooth's there. He wants a shot at Wolverine because Wolverine got out. They just go, ah, they fight on top of the Statue of Liberty. And again, really bad effects. This is where like, the hay ball of not finished. The worst effect I've ever seen when, when, he, when he cuts yeah. around yeah. the and it just goes into that like really really shitty CGI Wolverine for like way Bad. too long yeah. um I I didn't understand the part where he jumps at Sabretooth with both of his fists but doesn't like impale him with the fucking claws like he No I think he does. Yeah. But I think he cuts him. Sabretooth have been Sabretooth has the same Sabretooth? Re uh, regenerative powers. Yeah. 
Sabretooth has the exact same power. <laughs> I mean, those are like six blades in his shoulder. Yeah, but then, see, that's the problem is they don't they don't set up anything about Sabretooth. You have yeah. no idea who he is. You have no idea if he has if he has the deep history with Wolverine or not. Yeah. He's not recognizing Wolverine at all, so you think maybe no, but then later in movies, it's clear Which that he doesn't has make this any wild, sense. amazing it doesn't make any it. So, like, yeah, we don't really know anything about Sabretooth, but he's supposed to be he's supposed to have the same level of power yeah. as Wolverine. He's, he's the less. better Wolverine, but yeah. Wolverine has the adamantium, which makes him better. Which makes him better. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like he recovered really quick. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Whatever. Sabretooth gets killed or whatever. I don't even remember who the fuck he He cares. falls into a boat. Right. Yeah, and it's okay. like, is he dead? Will we see him again? No, you won't see him again. Uh, I mean, this is because down there they were all working together where Gene brought over Scott's visor. Oh, that's what happens, right? Scott's visor and oh, angled yeah. it. And then he's like, open your so eyes. I don't want to go you. Open your eyes. And he opens me. his eyes, fucking blasts Sabretooth away into the boat. Like he said, good call. Then they all get down. Then it's the, like we were talking about them working together to get up there where it's, yeah. We're gonna. We can't just fly up there, so we'll send Logan up there. Gene, you steady him. When you d- get to where you can, if you can't stop the device, I'll blow up the device or whatever, and you might kill everybody. But whatever, I'm an, I'm Cyclops. He gets up there. Logan does. Lands fine. Uh, you know, uh, Rogue is in the thing screaming. She's got the white hair now. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, right. But Magneto one of those things where it's like little power. We didn't need the origin story of her hair. I yeah, like but it. I thought it was cool. We we're like, oh, okay. Also, there's gives us something a, I connect to. Such, well, why? It gives us such a great line in X2. I don't remember. It, it, it's Mystique and uh, yeah. Magneto on the plane together, and they laugh. And, and Magneto's like, we were just saying we love what you've done with your hair. Oh. Like, yeah. That's a good one. Fucking it's a dick thing to say. Yeah, of course. Assholes. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> Logan's stuck up there in the man- magnetic field. Again, we see his like, claws moving around. Like, ooh, I got, that's got a that's got a stick. No, well, like, Magneto still has a little bit of power. Yeah, right? yeah, so exactly. as he goes to slice, he goes, yeah, yeah, and he's like bringing them, he's moving the, the blades around right. and all this well, shit. He's like, not this time, but. And the Cyclops like, I got a shot, I'm going to take it. Don't I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. I'm going to get a shot. Again. And then he finally shoots and does the thing blue. Why don't we just do this to begin with? By the way, the whole fucking thing had been expanding, getting ready to touch the normal humies over there. The other 20, 20, 20 people on that island that apparently were good. They're like, going to really world make world a difference. Leaders, yeah. They were all world leaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but that was really, whatever. Well, no, I, made, the, the plan, I think the plan was a good plan. But it wasn't the president. You know, it was no, it was the president. It was the president. Yeah, the president. Yeah, he's giving the speech. No, when it starts, weren't they like the president of the United States? I don't think I just know the guy giving the speeches has a heavy accent from somewhere. Mm. I just don't remember oh, how no, they I'm defined sorry. it. He was thanking the president of the United there States. You go. There you go. But I didn't know if it was like, I mean, I don't know. It just didn't seem like it was. Doesn't uh, matter. They're a bunch of important people over there. But guess what? The day is saved by the X Men. And so, yeah, then we're into all of our epilogues, whatever. Thank you. That person happy the X Men saved the day. Ooh, <laughs> then we're into all of our epilogues here, right? Mm. Uh, yeah, Rogue is enjoying the school just fine. <laughs> She's got the hair. <laughs> He's excited. Rogue Ooh, is Rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Rogue's enjoying the school, hanging out with Bobby, playing the foosball. They're all having a good time over there. The foosball. Sexual L- tension. L- Logan's, you know, I'm oh, glad you're, she catches him about to leave. The More dad's watching. Because, of course, uh, <laughs> it Chuck it off towards Rogue. the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Professor X is giving them, giving Logan the information about an abandoned facility up in Alberta, Canada, or whatever you should go check out. Uh, so he's going to go check into that. He gives Rogue his dog tags because it means so much to me. I'll definitely be back for this shit. Uh, Professor X goes check in on Magneto. They're playing chess over there in his uh, plastic prison. Awesome. It'll Y'all be way better next so two. Good. It'll be way, way better next two, but still awesome. Uh, uh, Magneto's still not feeling it he, you know they're gonna disappoint you they're gonna come for all of us like you know blah, blah. I'll, uh, you, you know this plastic prison won't hold me forever and Xavier's like ah but we'll be there to stop you because we're the fucking X-Men and he like cross no, shops and rolls out man he know he's got that great he actually has the best line of the whole movie in this right where he it's the great great swell of pity line where he's like what will you do Charles when they come for you in the night he goes I, I feel a great swell of pity for anyone coming to my school looking for trouble yeah and then rolls the fuck out <laughs> Just goes yeah, like dude. they're just scared. Professor X man. <laughs> <laughs> just rolls out, <laughs> which is dumb. Oh, Tony! And also, su- yeah, surprisingly foreshadowing of the next movie. Weird how they do that. Yeah, right. Yeah. And so, yeah, then uh, Wolverine climbs on the bike and hits the turbo button. He's <laughs> fucking terrible <laughs> effects as he goes. Yeah. And then we got, we got credits. We got credits right there. Morph. Morph. Yeah, that was good. We now we got more. That was it. That was. You know what? I, you know what I'm really happy about? What? An hour forty minutes. Like oh, the movie. The oh, movie. Yeah. When the, I was like, this In is the out, length man. of movies that I want. So we, much, we did a topic man. on God oh, one time about that. Great, dude. Yeah. No, I I'm fine with a long movie. No, but they're I, good. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm exactly. happy that well Give me two and a half. Give me yeah. three. Fuck it. Give That's three exactly. Because I, I dare you. I had forgotten about because we had the Memorial Day off. Well, at least I did. Well, me too. Not really, but you know, you know what I mean. Um, and I'd uh. 
I had forgot I had lost track of the day. So I was like, when are we recording this? Oh, on Wednesday. Oh, I got a couple. I got. I was like, fuck no. I have to. I have to do it tonight because tomorrow's the comedy thing. Mm-hmm. I got. It's already nine thirty. Shit. And you know, I was out by like you know ten something or whatever. There you go, man. Yeah. It felt great, yeah, dude. I was really happy about I'm it. Glad, Andy. So you guys know what time it is, right? It's time for Ragu Bagu. Hit it! Ragu. Bagu. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the podcast within a podcast. Best rad guys talk bad guys. Of course, follow us on Twitter at Ragu Bagu Vids. If you'd like to run the Twitter account, we have new breaking information that I came up with on my way to work today. We'll talk about that at the end of this podcast. Oh, boy. The, the podcast within the podcast, no, not the real are. podcast. What we do... What we do here, of course, is rank all the bad guys. We originally started with the MCU universe, MCU universe, but then, of course, we just said it's Ragu Bagu, a breakout podcast within a podcast, is the breakout hit of the MCU in review that it's got to stick around for X Men in review. So we'll just keep all the villains here. We're just keeping them all in one big bucket, and we're still Seems ranking. Seems like them. it's going to be a bad so idea. So let me update you on go through all the them. rankings. <laughs> At number 20, we have phone. these fucks from Thor. 19 is Abomination. Number 18, Ronin from Guardians. I'm I'm just reading my notes verbatim now. If you These fucks keep, from Thor 2. If you can't keep up with the notes, Tim, that's on you. Did he you not just, say Thor 2? No, he said these fucks from Thor. If you can't keep up with the list, Tim, it's on you. All right. Greg, I'm afraid you made a mistake. I can't. You have to. Ronin from Guardians at 18. Number 17, Cross from Ant Man. Number 16, Loki from Thor. Number 15, Obadiah Stane. Number 14, Mandrick slash Aldrich. Number 13, The Vision from Solo. (laughs) 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 Number 12, Mass slash Dormammu. Number 11, Rockwell slash Mickey. Number 10, Red Skull. Number 9, Ultron. Ultron. Number eight, Hydra of Captain America Winter Soldier. Number seven, Ego from Guardians 2. Number six, Hell. <laughs> Number six, Hell slash Grand Mass from Thor Rag. Number five, Loki from Avengers. Number four, Bacon Guy from Civil War. Number three, Michael B. Shorten from BP. Number two, The Vulture. Number one, Thanos, AIW. Wait, what about the Deadpool 2? You oh, guys we didn't, didn't do it because you're a bunch of pussies yeah. and I wasn't yeah. here. I wasn't here either. I told you no. there was no structure. Anyways, Andy, where do you want to rank Magneto in the Brotherhood of Mutants? Hi, man. You got to put him up high. He had great motivation. You know what I mean? Here's the problem I have. I just, I just blew a burp here. Be careful. The problem I have is Magneto, awesome. Mm-hmm. The Brotherhood, well, no, Mystique was part of the Brotherhood and she was Mystique dope. She sucked. I feel like Stop, I, I liked her performance. You sound dumb. I feel like you got to rank Magneto very high on this list. But we, they're, yeah. they're a package deal. Here's my no. thing. That's why we put him out. Out. <laughs> take him out. Take need, him out of the package. You need to keep in mind that there's going to be a lot more Magneto as a bad guy in other movies. Yeah, but this Great is point. the one. Great this point. is where he's, really he's best. This I, is where he's best. I feel yeah, like old man, like art, sad, mm. broken hearted. It's uh, he might not be wrong because he's not the villain yeah. next time around. He, in X two, yeah. X three, yeah. he is, and X three is fucking garbage. Garbage. But I feel and like then we get, I feel the like I, I like Magneto in X three. And he's there's not a lot the, of things I dislike so much about I, it. I can't. I like. I blocked. Well, out he's a lot not of the X3. villain in the second one, right? Isn't no. Striker the villain? Yeah. yeah. Striker. And then we've got we have to we have to make a distinction between Ian McKellen and Michael Fassbender. Yeah. Sure. Because Fassbender. But also, Magneto Fassbender's not the villain till not the villain until the third one. No, Days, Days of Future Past. Future Past. Is he what, the villain? Oh, what are, what yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this is a. I think they. I think. I'd say. F- no. I, I, I think it brings it down. Tom three, I, I, I think the combination brings it down. I think, think it'd be number five. Take I, him I'd out of the package. Take him out guy. of the package. Above Ego from Guardians 2. So you're thinking oh, number six. Number six. Over Hella? No, no, he's saying above uh, ego. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, so below, y- number below seven. Hella. So number seven. Yeah, because the Grandmaster was so good. Yeah, exactly, exactly. He was good. I say you put him at number six, six man. Cat? See, for me, I feel like he's down. He's a he's around eleven. Whoa. I feel like I think he's below Rockwell, Mickey. I enjoyed them so much more as a tag team duo. You I know, agree. put him at twelve right there. Sure, let's do it. I'm right, cool. I don't give a fuck. You're a yeah. Monster. So number twelve now, and I'm not going to read them every time anymore, guys. So you have to keep up with everything, Tim. It's what's on the list. Number Are twelve is now beginning? Magneto. Yeah, I'm going to say it every time. Okay, cool. Slash or dash actually Brotherhood. We'll all remember what that means. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there you go, number 12, Magneto and Brotherhood. Now here's what I'd like to say. I have an exciting offer for everyone yeah. at home. As you know, for about 13 weeks now, we've been trying to get you to go to patreon.com slash kind of funny if you like this show and support it. And go there, of course, and for the low price, I think we said $1,000 or whatever mm-hmm. it was, you could run the Ragu Bagu Vids Twitter account for 
it's it's been ranging. It's been a range, right? But we we understand the open market. We understand the invisible hand. I'm tweeting right now, man. <laughs> we understand the invisible hand that hasn't sold anybody. So here's what we're gonna do. And I've I've gotten approval from no one here. <laughs> I'm looking Tim in the eye because I know he'll be the only person who cares at all. All right. What we're gonna do is lower the tier and but stick with me. We're or I guess we're technically erasing the tier we currently have. And what we're doing on patreon.com slash kind of funny is we're putting a $69 tier there where you can tweet once from the Ragu Bagu Vids account. Yeah. Again, this is subject to Joey Noel's approval, so don't be coming in here. You know what I'm mm-hmm. going to do? I'm going to take a giant fucking photo of my dick or something. I'm going right? to allow this. I like this. <laughs> exactly. This is so for idea. $69, you can put a tweet up on the Ragu Bagu Vids account if it's approved by Joey or my arm. <laughs> Guys, I don't no, have if it's not approved, no. If it's not approved... They yeah. can get their money back, or no? You fucking come up with okay. a tweet that isn't I'm about eating somebody's ass. Well, actually, that we might approve. Eating yeah, ass, that is we fine. might approve. Eat I don't ass. know. Kind of funny. We eat ass. ass. We do eat ass. <laughs> so there you go. I'll put, I'm gonna address that one after this show, and we'll be all set. I really like that. That's, That's a, a good, good one. Point. Point. That's a good point. And of course, if that you might do actually that, work. Remember, it's a sixty-nine dollar donation for a month's worth of content. You would get all the what's well, kind of funny vids. So you get an, or it's kind of funny prime. So you get early access to the GOG episodes and video MP3. You would get uh, when we do seasonal content, which I won't spoil. It's coming up eventually soon, right? Yeah, I'm still working on it. Yeah, all right, cool. You'd get early access to that, all the other stuff. Greg's comic book show. You'd be able to ask comic book questions on the Greg's comic book show, which is a $15 mm-hmm. tier. I'm forgetting other tiers off the top of my head, but there's other stuff you can do. A lot of fun stuff. A lot man. of people that watched um, the GOG this week that's going out early on Friday, they say it's good. It, we've been on fire lately. Yeah. That's true. The, and the ones that were just us, the Anna Sale one was great, right. and then the one we just did that starts so off about good. how nervous Kevin is and then ends with an ejaculating bear is pretty great, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, many, so much. To be fair, it's it's really, it was that. still a man you with out. a bear helmet on. I've heard it both ways. It's, it's all Bears real. ejaculate, Kevin. <laughs> so <laughs> let's rank it. Number one. Number one. <laughs> number one. <laughs> yeah, so far, dude. Number cool, one. Cool, bring up the list as it stands. We don't have. Uh, it's a joke, everybody. I'm aware. It's episode there one of X Men in Review. There you yeah. Go. Uh, so it is. It is number one. We'll see where it. it it's not going to stay there for long. X two is going to totally fucking take. So it here's long. the thing. Next week's movie, X two. I stand by this movie. X2, good movie. Bold. X2, X2 a movie I haven't seen for 20 years. Wait, no, yeah. <laughs> so we'll fucking see if I what stand by it? that shit. Yeah. Yeah. How so do you guys feel? I'm, I'm very I don't nervous remember about it at all. It. Yeah. Oh, no. Undoubtedly, X2 is, is X2, I way better so than well. this one. I don't way better than this, but is it still good? It's yeah. better than this. It's definitely better than X3. Uh, it's better than X3. For, for sure. sure. Yeah, for Not sure. even close. X3, I fucking hated, and I haven't watched oh, in theaters. I'm interested to see what that'll turn See, around. my thing is, I don't think any of these movies are actually good. I think yeah. the series gets good right when Matt Vaughn takes it over. First with class. First, first, class. first class is the first time because everyone was like, oh, we have a language for this now. We have an understanding of this, and that movie really worked for me. But see, X2, for me, I remember being, and again, I was a dumb kid, but I was like, they fucking did a good job with this. They did a good job. But I think the problem is you were a dumb kid. Well, no, but they upped the action as well. There was a lot more, it was a lot more fun. There was a lot more cool stuff to see. Um, Darker story, too. Way darker story. All the stuff at at the, uh, I was going to say Botany Bay, but Alkali Lake. Mm -hmm. All that stuff's awesome. Yeah. It's just, yeah. We'll see you next week. Mm -hmm. Uh, you should subscribe to youtube.com slash kind of funny so you do not miss Excited. this every Thursday, 9 a.m. or podcast services. Uh, just look for kind of funny reviews. Until next time. Experiment with your brother or sister. What? Jesus no, no, fucking no, 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 Christ. No, no, no. Do something Have an fun. excellent we'll work day. work on that. Have an excellent day. Sure.